All right, ladies and gentlemen, so big DMC revision going on versus Battle Wiki. I actually wasn't going to talk about this one until it was all said and done, but uh, my two co-hosts, Mangler and Kyle, insisted they wanted to go over it while it was still kind of fresh. Fresh. Yes. I had some thoughts on several of uh, the pieces of information being provided, and I figured this was probably a better format to talk about it than talking about it on the Discord server, so I can get out my thoughts. It's my thoughts about uh, the blog presented for the evidence, um, and then the evidence and arguments presented against it, provided by uh, the various people on BSP. Lots of various people. <laughs> oh yes, there are quite a many. <laughs> There's also a lot of uh, neutral opinions as well, so we, we can go over a couple of those, because some of, some of those are more interesting. Um, Alright, so Tier 1 Devil May Cry. So, I'm just going to summarize this. It basically just comes from a scan that claims that souls originate from a higher lo like position, and it's from a nine-dimensional form. Um, so yeah, like... That, that, that's really all there is to it. It does mention the Eightfold Paths of Buddhism, which apparently you could argue for higher, but we're not really here to discuss that right now. But yeah, so that's the general idea. Right here, mm -hmm. souls. There's all souls again, higher dimensional existence. Now, so right off the bat, uh, I want to point out, or well, I guess the first thing I'll point out is that all demons can affect souls freely, but they don't really talk about that, <laughs> at least not here. Yeah. Well, if we're gonna if we're gonna jump straight into this argument, <laughs> I'm just gonna say what I said on on Discord. Yeah, it's not like you know soul manipulation, creation, and destruction in DMC is a common occurrence. No, no, no. it's not common at all. No, it doesn't happen. I, I would every like two to seconds. point to point out to people that demons don't even need a soul to exist. They can yeet their minds from their souls and bodies to develop a new body in the demon world. And okay. All of the energy that's used to fuel Dante's devil arms are referred to as soul powered. The devil arms, which are also made from demons, made from their souls. So, like, I, I don't know how much like more obvious you would need to be, other than just saying demons attack with their souls somewhere blatantly in the lore. Which, even if that existed, that still wouldn't be enough for VSB. At least for so, some <laughs> if we just use their logic against them, if they if, if they're like their AP is not 9D, but the souls are 9D, it's just like you fools. You do realize that we have multiple instances of soul manipulation. So if in any regard anyone in DMC can manipulate souls, that automatically bumps them up to 9D AP. You fucking morons. Well. We'll, we'll get into that in a so, little... So, to be clear as well, the the actual thread is not arguing for ninth dimensional It's just arguing for, actually, I think just 5th dimensional I think I'm just arguing to at least 1C. So they're just arguing for at least 5th dimensional So that's not so that's not necessarily true. Low 1C is 5th dimensional. 1C is like 7th and ninth. Oh, okay. So, he is, so this is arguing to ninth dimensional then. Yep. Right. So the regeneration statement is just that we get we got a direct statement that they can regenerate from the destruction of their bodies, names, souls, or everything. So, mm -hmm. just like basically any forms of conventional and even some non-conventional forms of destruction just don't work on them at all. Very simple. Existence erasure and immortality type five. I thought we already had this from the novel, but whatever. Immortality type four and eight. Not really important. Curse manipulation, negation, and healing. Not really important. Uh, clairvoyance. This one is kind of important. This is important for cosmology reasons because this basically confirms that every single demon has a future that can be viewed, and this would technically mean there are an infinite number of timelines in DMC. As well, this would actually mean that view. that everybody has their own infinite number. Yes. Well, so not necessarily. But it would mean that there is a destiny for every person in the human world and in the demon world and beyond. And there are multiple infinite armies of demons in the demon world. Okay. Between, well, yeah, I was just going to say, between like Mundus's army, which is still around after he's sealed and after he's defeated, and Argosax's army, they both created infinite armies of demons. 
So wow. each of those demons would have a future. Let me actually just read. Let me actually just read the actual statement, so that way people who are watching this know what the hell we're talking about. Or is it? Uh, not the soul. There you go. So he could see into the past. Um, the demon lord gave him a portion of his power, so he could see into the past and present, and even countless futures that were considered impossible. So this would mean that for every individual person, it'd be countless futures. Yes, but the thing that's important here is the next line, which he says, His one eye allows him to see the destiny of anyone in the human and demon worlds and even beyond. As I've stated, there is multiple infinite armies in the demon world, meaning there would have to be multiple sets of infinite futures just for this one portion. Keep in mind, this is only a portion of Pluto's strength at this point, who isn't even a demon king, and has broken his seal and is massively nerfed. Yeah, so it does say it doesn't this, work on demon kings who keep their secrets. Yes. Yeah, so so these this would mean that the information <coughs> of the beast heads, Chen, Mundus, and Argosax, all of their precog and their abilities to see and interact with the future and timelines would scale vastly above this. This is like a nerf of a nerf version, and it can already see like every single timeline in the future. Its only restriction is that it just can't see people who can keep their sights hidden from future sight, which isn't really a restriction. That's more like they just have resistances to it. Yeah, so that's more or less it. So they also bring up the Book of Demons, which can seal targets and transform them into data, and that I believe Dante also gains their powers, I believe the direct, the direct description says. Yeah, he gains he gains their powers as well. Which isn't really stated here, but that is technically something valid. Um, so they've also added some more abilities on the demon physiology page, but it should just be all of this. It uh, says, also, it provides its own consciousness, choose a bearer who resists the power, and this book will pro protect him by providing it with the stored capacity of every being within. Uh, just to clarify as well, uh, the characters who would scale to all of this are going to be basically everyone post-DMC1. As far as the book of demons? No, I mean like the abilities and resistances going on here. Uh, as far so as far as the other forms of uh, what's it called? It says it only says all but the weakest of demons, so we can really only interpret that to mean lesser demons. That wouldn't be applicable to demons that have uh, that can be transformed into devil arms, because as Agnes puts it. Uh, well, so the problem is that like when you say lesser demons, like do you mean like the very basic demon because they're technically above things like the nobodies? Well, so, so like what's considered the like the, the like all but the less whatever is whatever's considered a lesser demon is what's labeled to be a lesser demon because well, well no because because like so because this this will be arguing that everyone under the lesser demon tag is going to fall under this but we know like the abyss we know like most of Mundus's forces are elite high ranking demons but they're still called lesser demons yeah because like they're foot soldiers typically. I mean but I mean but like so but they would still have this regeneration ability well. They would not the not the highest end of it. They would have the mid godly stuff. Well, the so, statement the statement is just high godly in general. Well, so, yeah, but it says it says specifically for uh, all ex all but the weakest demons. Yeah, so again, that would only mean like the lowest of the lesser demons. It wouldn't include things like the abyss. It wouldn't include things like the abyss gold lean, like something like that. If if you want to go that far, I just I, I think it's harder to argue where the cutoff happens. Mom, Dad, can we can we move on? No. <laughs> we'll be discussing this later. <laughs> I've also made a sandbox on the demon physiology page. We can probably go over that later time. I'll just link it now. So well, uh, okay. So this so this is literally just adding the new abilities that were that would just not exist at the current moment. And so then, like higher dimensional existence is something that was added. Uh. It should have been on there to begin with. Well, hang on, actually. Um, I kind of wish he would highlight what he actually put in. Whatever, I'm not going to go through all of this because we're going to have to go through a lot of reviews. Then we have the agrees, which I think the number has increased since then. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, the, the statements are pretty... I mean, like, I'm a DMC guy. Like, I don't, like, hide that. But, like, the statements are incredibly bland. We have 14 that yays, 3 nays, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Six neutral. 
Well, to be fair, one of those neutrals is technically a disagree as well. Actually, so this is kind of weird. Uh, I don't know why they call him neutral, because he's technically agreeing with most of it, but he disagrees on tier 1, presumably, unless he just generally says, I, I have no statement for tier 1. Yeah, so, um... All right. Well, first, I just says he's neutral with a slight win and agreement regarding 1C AP. Let's see here. Uh, I'll start going through them, and I'll start, like, reading through them. Uh, Dead Guy says really nothing. Gilliver says chaotic neutral. Do they actually count Gilliver as neutral? Why is he neutral? Yeah. Like, never thought I'd see a tier one DMC. Anyway, so far I agree. All right, storytelling Demon King. Funny you mentioned that because we whipped their asses in the last thread. Wait, to people who think DMC ain't even low multiversal to find out about this. I guess they link something. I don't know what they link though. Let's see. Delamic Cry's contentious ratings. Oh, this this was the uh, this was the one that linked the uh, Hellboy versus Nero G one block. Okay, well, no sense being up that dead horse. Oh yes. <laughs> Kyle, that, control that, yourself. That, yes, that that one that one thread that aged like fucking milk. <laughs> it's not like that matchup was ever gonna happen anyways, apparently. So this then dead guy asks, I have two questions here. One, why is the whole mirror dimension reflects the evil of humanity thing used as evidence? Not saying I uh, disagree with the upgrades, but this one specifically is hardly evidence and seems really vague unless I'm missing something. By two, two by infinite one C. Do you mean they're going to scale infinitely above baseline one C? I don't know what else you would interpret that to mean. If you guys, first of all, if you guys, um, not to be like aggressive here, I'm just kind of pointing out, like if you have a separate scaling system for low one C, which you identify as fifth to sixth dimensional. Of course, whoever's in 1C that is 7th to 9th dimensional is going to scale infinitely or far above infinitely uh, those numbers and those categories. Okay, so we have Samix Boot saying the scan doesn't seem to say 9 dimensional for me. This is the kanji for dimensions. This is where it supposedly says 9 dimensional. Okay, I'm going to step in. Okay, so we're going to wait and see if anyone else mentions this. But if you can read Japanese enough to know what the kanjis are, unless you've just memorized the alphabet, why aren't you providing a separate translation? That seems like a little also, weird. this is in Chinese. This... The scan is in Chinese. <laughs> cool. Alright. Uh, it's more so to give you an idea of what the mirror world is. This is referencing the mirror dimension flexible of humanity. Two, two by infinite. I mean, I think that the mirror world is, if this is past, will be an infinite 90 space. Personally, I don't think we should scale the characters to 1C. By far, the statement says that the souls are beyond Nirvana Eightfold Path. There is no evidence that the ninth dimension exists in the demonic world. It also contains more than a space. Time does not do it beyond just 2C without more context. That's that's not true. So, the argument that the souls are beyond the end, Nirvana and Eightfold Path, there's no evidence of ninth dimension. <laughs> First of all, souls are not the highest point of existence, VSB. I know someone has probably brought this to your attention, you might have ignored it, but names are considered more important than souls. They have a direct statement in Three's manga by Arkham that they form the mold of the demon itself. And that stripping it away renders them powerless, whereas taking a demon's soul doesn't really do anything to them. Like, they can regenerate from it, or they can live or exist without it. They can't do the same thing without their names. They are completely and totally helpless. Uh, also, names are confirmed in the statements that gave them abstract existence. That the name forms the concept of their own existence, and it manifests in the part of the soul that forms them. So the souls, ergo, would be below the names. And here we have which we, which we, which we actually get evidence of as early as one's novel. And here we have people pointing out that it is in fact Jane Chinese. <laughs> There's also uh, the ninth dimension not existing in the demon world. I would like to point out that, as I've just mentioned, like you know, the names names are above the souls. Um, all demonic power is capable of affecting the soul, and demonic power is fueled by demonic energy and human blood and whatnot. Can you guess where demonic energy is located? Hang on. Uh, hint, hang what? on. Hint. hint, hint. <laughs> Dante says it's underpinned in the geography of a certain world. So, well, Mangler's currently in denial. So, Mangler, you know how recently we did uh, Devil May Cry research and you went through three? Oh, yes. 
Do you remember a certain demon that does nothing but eat souls? What's it called? The Soul Eater? Um, yeah, it's just named the Soul Eater. Literally paralyzes its prey and then consumes their soul directly. I, I guess I guess that's the only lesser demon. <laughs> yeah, it, it also doesn't help that the Soul Eater isn't even a proper demon. It's literally the remnants of destroyed souls from other demons. That is true. It's the ghost right. of demons. So, so I guess I guess we also shouldn't count the fact that those demons were also able to destroy its soul, and it literally had to reform so that it could eat them. Ghost of demons past, apparently. Uh, so, responding to the person who doesn't agree with its skilled characters, demons are souls if they originate from the primordial chaos and the soul's origin would be in the demon world. Edit, the Nirvana stuff is likely place that the dimension exists in. Because there's no other place in DMC that can be described as beyond the Eightfold Path. It's not mean. It's not meant to solidify anything on its own. Demon Origin makes 90 Demon World solid. Because so, Demon World are contained in time realities by itself. I, I'm gonna step in here and say that that's. Um, there's no other place in the, the pl DMC that could be described as beyond the Eightfold Path. That's not necessarily true. But the stuff involving. Um, I, I, well, I, so I guess if they're referring to the demon world, that's not entirely truthful, but the demon world has different arguments for being 90, and that's mainly the fact that all of the energy source that's used to affect these 90 souls and names, which are superior to souls in their true forms, by the way, which would be in the demon world, um, the, the energy being demonic energy underpins the entire geography of the demon world. It exists everywhere in the atmosphere, in the ground, in the soil, in time and space. It exists everywhere in the demon world. And it's used to affect and uh, power every single demon, as confirmed by Chen, as confirmed by Agnes. Because when they use their abilities that absorb demonic energy and magic, it literally kills demons. All right. I just need to point that out. Like, that's a better argument than this. You know, it, it, you know what, should, should I screen share so you guys can see my screen while I'm scrolling down or no? Yes, you should, probably. <laughs> I was going to say, because I know you guys are just there probably like wondering, like waiting for me to say something. No, Discord Nitro, bad. I heard a sound. There you go. Uh, yeah, so talking about the mirror dimension, because it shows the DM world contains infinite realities on its own. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, infinite 90 spacey means. Anyway, I reviewed this before and I agree. As much as it seems like bullshit, the Chinese like their things big. Doesn't TMC originate in Japanese? Yes, but Pico Compound is made by China or a Chinese company. I know. So, okay, so that's what I'm going to point out here. Uh, original text debate's a little weird on the table because, like, again, this is like just arguing that translation. But. By their logic, and I know a lot of people are turning towards this at this point, it's like any translation you'd have to argue is just not valid to use at all. So that just seems kind of silly. Yeah, that's also wrong. You can't you can't assert that uh, your fan translation has priority over the original. You have no authority to actually dictate that. Um, your your authority is not determined by accuracy. That can only be determined by the company who produced the work. They would only have the they would only have the rights to produce it in that manner okay so i haven't seen tier one arguments on this oh i've seen the tier one arguments on discord server this guy thinks it's boring because tier one dmc is yeah because again we, we've been saying this already if you accept tier one dmc uh you basically accept that like any good match of it once had is gone but apparently you know there is something in the works for a few other series so we'll see what happens so, hack speed, light speed, and finally AP to fight against the most broken characters out there. Think if SMT hadn't had that last upgrade, DMC Dante would be surpassing SMT itself. I mean, that's if you yeah. just, yeah. Since SMT Dante now scales, I think, to what, tier 1A? I think they get 1A? Yeah. 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 He, he, I think his original rating was 2A to low 1C. Oh, yeah, so. so he had gotten this rating. Yeah, so Dante just agreed now. Is there like anything that points to being canon aside from the company who made it having the rights from Capcom because like the game makes no sense to actually be canon almost everything I can find so it's not. It has enemies from DMC 1 and 4, the remake, localized versions as well. Um, let's see. Honest, that was one of the dumbest responses that I saw in this earlier. Um, I mean... Do you want to go over this person, or do you just want to go over the responses of the people, because they also respond to all this? Well, okay, so what I was going to point out here more specifically is, so bringing up the argument of canon here, they've already agreed it's canon on a separate thread, as Gilbert points out. 
So it is a little silly to call Camden into question if it's already been hashed out in a debate. Granted, this person probably wasn't there for that initial debate, but like, it's a little because again, like Dante has a measurable speed on VSB right now because of Pinnacle of Combat. That's where they give it to him. So it's just well, a little weird calling out Cannon for this. I, I like how this guy's like, uh, you know, from what I found, it's non canon. It's like, well, you mustn't have looked too fucking hard because we have multiple interviews with the developers. Let's say that's an orthodoxical would, sequel. I would like to point out here that when you make. Aside, aside from not being like aware of like the threads that are going on like on your site, uh, when you make a claim that something isn't canon, uh, rather than just addressing what's being presented, um, that's kind of kind of not a great way to go about like addressing your thoughts on the situation. Like you know, just provide like I agree or disagree or like I don't have any idea like what to say on this. And said this person is just like, I'm just like maybe it's not canon because the reason I bring this up is that this this bleeds into the shifting of the goalpost territory where essentially every person has to be dragged like kicking and screaming to one destination to say like oh hey Dante has like a measurable speed because of these scans like that's not enough provides pinnacle of combat which is blatant scans like well uh, maybe it isn't as accurate as we thought and then you provide further evidence and context. And then they argue Pinnacle Combat's not canon. I'm not saying this person's doing that, but as soon as this person brought this up, as you will see when Zim scrolls down further, oh. uh, and we get to the rest of the information presented from all of these other people, that is going to be an argument that will be presented in this uh, CRT. Are, are you suggesting that as a result of this person saying this, it caused a lot of problems going forward? Yeah. Also, Gilbert kind of covers this for me. Um, other enemies showing up in previous games is stupid. Uh, it's been established from War Go that Mundus and other demons who create, uh, various demon kings who create their uh, subordinates, like, they don't have, like, an area or a dedicated location where they're spawned. They're usually in different dimensions. So even if their Mundus or Argus Axe died, they just existed in the demon world. So, yeah, if, if a portal to the human world opens near their location, they're sure as hell going to take a, a trip there, which is why the assaults and the frost and things like the blitz just show up in four, even though Mundus is dead. It's not just like a callback to DMC one; like it's certainly canon that they would have survived. You know what? Because Mundus died, the Sin Scissors shouldn't exist in five. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I should have realized that whenever Mundus just dies or gets sealed away, all of his demons just die. Um. I mean, I guess, I guess they took, like, the information about him ruling over the Dark Powers from DMC3's manga a little too literally. Truly. Just, just, the, just the epitome of, uh, you know, just... Oh, you guys. Okay, so... It was stated verbatim to take place between 3 and 1 by people making it here and here. They're in Chinese, so you got translated to read these articles. It was also called an official DMC game more times I can count. Also, my knowledge was brought up in an example of the reboot enemies being in the game, and even if they were, it wouldn't really mean anything. Uh, to be clear, uh, a little side note, the DMC reboot is unironically confirmed to be an alternate timeline by interviews yeah. when the game came out. In other words, DMC reboot enemies can show up and it would cause no problem with the continuity because you can enter alternate timelines in DMC. The novel confirms that. Yeah. They're, they're, they're just in an alternate timeline in the DMC multiverse. So... While they're not canon to the main timeline, they are in their own timeline that Dante or the other Demon King could go to should they choose to if they got knowledge of those dimensions. Yes. If they ever have to go there, as could the enemies if they were able to cross over. So unironically, we're in a weird situation where reboot enemies would actually not cause that many problems if you know the lore very well. The only The only issue potentially would be like them just showing up in the game and being able to do anything or even survive for five seconds but that that probably wouldn't even matter because they would just get killed by dante anyway or the hunters so uh, less of an inconsistency than you think actually um <laughs> uh, damn dmc going to tier one we also confirmed dmc pinnacle comment to be to be canon in this thread it has another article direct from the post who hammers down pinnacle combat to be an orthodox sequel dmc 
Yeah, so again, that, that's kind of like the issue on the table here. They've already hashed out this discussion. So the call out can it to call can in the question again. I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm just saying that like, why would you do that? Bring new evidence to the table. Don't don't recycle bad arguments. Okay, so or, yeah. Uh, so arguments. people, this guy just point out again. Same enemies is a bad idea. Daunting Pinot Combos for a first time he met a Cerberus before when he finds a fights in their Cerberus again. Pinot Combos clear if it's in Cerberus he falls into three. And why Virgil's still alive? All this right here is the one that always trips me the fuck out. Cause even on even on like our channel, like we have the same question. Like, well, Nero's in it and Virgil's in it, so definitely it's not canon. We don't know like what their appearances are in the game. For all we know, it could just be non-canon stuff. Like, it's not that crazy. I well, I this is what I want to point out to everyone too. Is like, so what if they're in the game? That like all that would mean is that their shit's non-canon. That wouldn't mean that uh, Dante's like campaign's non-canon and hell even we, we don't even know hell the way pinnacle of combat can solve this is that pinnacle can, of combat can have dante's campaign take place between three and one and you can have nero's taking place between four and five so even when i said there were things that were non-canon in pinnacle of combat just when we were getting information about it from the beginning I always said that that specifically would have been like Virgil's involvement if he's just walking around, but that's because I presumed that his the intentions with Pentacle of Combat were specifically to have him be listed as like a special edition version, where you just have him play through Dante's campaign, like DMC four, DMC three, and DMC five do, and those playthroughs are non-canon. However, Virgil's going to get his own campaign. And they could very well give him a campaign where he's walking around at the time after three, and then at the end of the campaign, they could just have him zoom out and he's inside the Nelangelo armor. They could just do something like that, or they could just have him be stuck inside of Illusion, and they could make his campaign prior to the events of three. They could do plenty of these things. There are so many ways for them to write his uh, story without it causing an inconsistency. And even if it was, it wouldn't really matter because most of the information that he gets from the enemies and most of the information that he gets from the descriptions would still be canon, and that would be most of the reason people would want it for power scaling anyway. Easy there, Mangler. All right. Also, why is Virgil still alive? Uh, Virgil never died. Stupid. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. So yeah, so basically, yeah, uh, Virgil's campaign and inclusion in Pinnacle Combat's not a canon part of the story as of right now. Apparently, he is getting a campaign at some point. It's just not out yet. Uh, when did he ever die? Get Gilbert over here. <laughs> Firstly, he's dead. He's just with Mundus. And secondly, Pluto himself says that Dante is incapable of saving him, clearly referring to the events of DMC3. And all about that, why the hell is there so many replies? Don't attack me like that. Well, I mean, you kind of asked a stupid question, so. Yeah, like, honestly, don't come into a CRT about something as expansive as DMC and say something like why the hell oh, isn't Virgil wait, dead? yeah no yeah Vir Virgil's not dead because this is the this is the, between three and one he's yeah he's just an angel at this point yeah no all right Mangler's, Mangler's Vir completely right Virgil was never dead M M M Mangler he died for two he, di he died he died for two seconds Mangler we've kind of established like first of all if he was dead for five seconds I I just want to be I just want to understand this like five I, look I understand seconds. that people can have like memory issues when related to like some of the CRTs and information presented. It's a lot to absorb, I get it. But if we've already established lesser demons and Dante and Virgil have access to low godly feats and mid godly region in their devil trigger states and at their full power, why the flipping fuck would you think that Virgil could actually die <laughs> when he's exploding and existence erasure isn't enough to kill him? I at that point, are you not, like, is your region just not so good that you literally just have a different type of immortality or, like, resurrection? All right, so, come on. Okay, so guys, we're derailing. All right. Uh, I'm just skipping forward a bit to the more important ones. So, again, more comments on Tier 1 DMC. I'm generally surprised that people are so surprised by Tier 1 DMC. It really doesn't take that much to get to Tier 1. Uh, all right, if you find it later, give it okay. to me. Okay. Let's be really honest here. We were super surprised when we saw this shit. Well, no, no, no. We were super surprised on the grounds that they're like, we know, we, ne Pinnacle Combat's so weird because we never get statements like this, like, ever. We have to fight tooth and nail with people because they're like, not clear enough. So, Zim, we... I, rem Zim I remember six years ago 
when we had to try and drive people kicking and screaming just for Universal. And we had like a blade statement from Kamiya then, and now we just have. You're cutting out. You're uh, cutting out. You need to leave the call. I'm going out. Yep. There we go. Okay, that should be better. Uh, so, so even though I'm cutting out for you guys, it's not cutting out for the video, so that's fine. Okay. Hey, I need to leave it. Okay, so well, he's oh, he's there. I'm gonna just some of my points on this way later because I need to sleep and go to work after. Okay, so holy fucking shit, fucking mobile game striking again. It taking place between three and one is precisely why it being canon makes no sense. Some of these enemies were encountered for the first time in the timeline. Uh, despite not writing them later on, and even on those websites, it seems to be called official in the sense that it's IP licensed, not canon or anything. Because that's because even how uh, devs described it, and again, official is not equal canon unless like Zulu vs. Canon DBZ, for instance. Cap wants to write the story isn't really said like anywhere either. It just mentions them having quality standard that they check the game for. The game not affecting the main timeline much doesn't prove it's canon either. And it being called sequels like blank, uh, why do you assume they meant chronological and not just sequels in another game? Because normally when you call something a sequel, it's a sequel to a game. You don't just call something a se so here's the problem, is like if it was just called another game for the DMC franchise, it would just be called the DMC, a new DMC game. It wouldn't be called a sequel DMC. It would just be called a DMC game. Also, it being... First of a sequel... Uh, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, a sequel, by definition, is an extension of a previous story in a new source material. <laughs> what, what, what are you supposed to assume? That it's non-canon? Okay, so Paul agrees on the grounds that they're just too lazy to make a thread about it being canon. I think if so, here's the problem. If this guy's right and like it was this easy, it would be debunked pretty quickly because like, well, not debunked as in they would debunk it, as in other people would see his reasons, find the evidence lacking, and get rid of it. No one wants DMC this high, like especially on VSB. They hate DMC on VSB. They fucking will fight you. You could ask. You could literally try and get a simple change, like Dante fucking. I don't know. His sword's like a meter bigger than we actually thought, and they will fight you tooth and nail to the death over it. Like, let's put it this way. <laughs> Devil May Cry is, like, one of the only series they'll literally go out of their way to change rules on the site to fuck them over. <laughs> that, and... that is true, actually. <laughs> no, surely it's not true. Actually, it is true. <laughs> they actually change certain rules about author statements because of that. But that's yeah, we, also, we've we been also here for so many years that we've seen w DMC, like, change official rules on the wiki. <laughs> They tried to create change stuff like creation versus destruction and merging and fusing feats as well. All so strictly, be, all of them mainly were because of DMC. Some of them, did, like the, the merging one, the guy claimed he already had issues with other verses having that, but DMC was kind of the straw that broke yeah. the camel's back. So as far as uh, Capcom supervising the story isn't really, uh, isn't said really anywhere either. That's not true. It's stated in one of the uh, one of the pieces of information that Seville provided. It's also stated that their dev team is working with the uh, team that's developing Pinnacle of Combat, along with like three to four other companies, because there's multiple different beta builds that are being used that are all receiving continuous updates. So I'm really wondering to what degree this person is informed or in a position to be talking about this with like any sort of uh... i'm a little surprised here that they're not even debating about the content of the evidence anymore their only point of attack currently is whether or not the game's canon or not because the goalpost has shifted they can't attack the evidence because the evidence is extremely blatant and has been debated to death so they know going... this person is going to get flogged if they jump in there they're basically jumping into the lion's den, so instead they just prefer to poke it from All the right. outside. Let's see, dead guy here. Yeah, they have many statements about him facing them before. Heck, even Pluto himself mentioned about Virgil getting trapped in the DM world, clearly referring to DMC3, and Lava Spider and Griffin are clearly not the ones from DMC1 because, one, they can't talk like the ones from DMC1 and 2, and they're clearly just part of their species, which is, again, not new, and it's canon, as it's introduced to DMC5 already. Well, actually, to be clear, DMC1 kind of references that Phantom's a part of a race of Lava Spiders, if I recall correctly, there's a statement for that. I know that was in the comic, and I know in the anime's intro, you actually see two phantoms fighting you instead of just the one. Well, it's also like, we... So we always we, knew there were more phantoms. 
We, we should always be under the assumption that most major demons, unless they're specifically stated otherwise, can exist as part of a species. We just know that, like, some of the greater ones are, like, bigger in size and whatnot, but that's not to suggest that they wouldn't have, like, other members of their race. Yeah. Like, so no for that. I'm having a real hard time taking you all seriously at this point. Uh, since this reaches territory I'm not familiar with, Tier 1, I won't be debating, so don't bother messaging me about commenting on this. All right. Uh, read. DMC2 novel wants to have a word with you. The game not affecting the main timeline that doesn't much does uh, doesn't prove it's canon. Sorry, I know we shouldn't do this any longer, but I couldn't resist. Well, DMC2's novel doesn't really like cause issues, and I think DMC2's novel's ending does lead to the museum that where he meets Lucia, if I recall correctly, or he already gets the dagger before then. No, no, it, it basically leads to the uh, the uh, the event where Lucia throws the uh, she throws the dagger in, pinning the map to his office door, which. Which yeah. creates the pretense for him showing up at the beginning of the game. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was going to say, because I remember there was some, like, direct connection to two from the novel, so that's not really a good point to bring up. Based on what I've seen, 1C seems mostly fine. Do note that I'm ambivalent towards whether or not the statement is canon, though, since I don't know DMC. Uh, okay, that's fine. Regarding with the stuff of canicity, if you don't agree with it, then please do so on our thread, because Pinnacle Combat has been in this canon for a long time now, and some of the abilities and feats we have on the profiles come from there, so the stuff on this thread isn't really the only effective thing by like, such a change. Yep, that's true. Dante versus old YHVH when? Okay. Uh, let's see who. Okay, let's see. The true power. I'm in definite agreement on this being tier one C worthy. Put me as tentatively agree only because Canicity is not yet fully solidified. Uh, to summarize, let's see. To summarize, referred to as an official a few times, which to be fair simply means its license as any IP would be an outside party. Said to take place between three and one. Referred to as an orthodox sequel a couple of times via translation. Though that sounds nice, it arguably just refers to the gameplay still being true to DMC, as it is still a stylish hack and slash, not some turn based gotcha like you'd expect from mobile. Um, that's so that's that's already wrong because there's also separate sections in the article that talk about how the gameplay is also uh, separately from that statement made. So Fancy. that's that's wrong. Phantom and Griffin seem like they are different from DMC one version, so likely not a contradiction to fight them just after DMC three. Cerberus is supposed to say to be a different one, so it's not a contradiction. Never are to say this canon by Capcom or Nebula Joy. Um, that's fair. Fighting the Bond again. No explanation is given for why Dante would be fighting her again when she already submitted that became a double arm for him. It's only acknowledged by him that he gets to be her twice, but no follow up on why that is. Maybe the Bond is a species. Someone, someone didn't read Five's novel. <laughs> Maybe Navon's, maybe Navon's a species of demons instead of an individual one, or maybe she got loose from him somehow, but no explanation given thus far. Okay, so do you guys want to explain what Five's novel yeah, says? I'm going gonna, gonna to explain this. So th this person hasn't read Five's novel at all. So it, it, it explains uh, in Five's novel, as established with the fight with Balrog and uh, Matia's ex explanation, that a demon that is powerful enough to become a devil arm can choose to challenge its wielder again if they so choose. And this is literally one of the reasons Balrog submits to Dante once he realizes he beats Argosax and Mundus. He, he says, like, he's excited to fight him again, and he plans on gaining strength. So when he submits to Dante, his intention is to come back in the future and fight him again. So it is entirely possible that Navon, who submitted to Dante, could do the same thing. All right. Uh, the reveal trailer shows Dante Lady... Okay, so this one actually pops up a lot, because a lot of people bring this one up when they're talking about why this isn't canon. Uh, the reveal trailer shows Dante Lady and Virgil facing off against Mundus. Obviously, the trailer isn't indicative of how the story will play out, but Mundus is definitely heavily hinted to end up in this game. Dante finding Mundus in what seems to be mere days after DMC3's ending would be a wild departure slash retcon. Um, oh. to be fair, that is... Well, actually, does Dante ever directly state he never encountered Mundus until DMC one? No. So, so here's here's the problem with this couple things. First of all, that trailer was intended to hype up the game and didn't happen in Dante's campaign, so this is already a factor. Two, if it happens after the events of DMC three, that it would be like a wild departure retcon. That is not entirely true, because after the timeline got shifted, it's established in history of DMC that Dante, after the events of DMC3, is investigating ties to Mundus. And DMC1's novel, which is now at the beginning of the timeline, uh, a year before the events of DMC3, establishes that he is aware of the existence of the Demon King, and he knows that Don that Mundus killed his, uh, his family. Oh. So... 
he's aware of the existence of Mundus and his involvement in this, and he is actively investigating him. Him going after Mundus prior to these events wouldn't necessarily be a problem, because Dante in DMC1 doesn't state that it's been like 20 years since he's met him or anything. That That's never mentioned. Neither does Trish. They just say it's been like, you lost a mother and brother to evil 20 years ago. All right. um, lady fighting there wouldn't wouldn't be crazy. Virgil would be the only one that could potentially be a problem, but like, again, um, this is this is completely irrespective of the fact that uh fucking that was just meant for the uh the reveal trailer, or th that was just meant for like a hype trailer to hype off the game, and that didn't happen in Dante's campaign anyway, so this is a non-factor. It's like it doesn't help the canonicity of the argument. I think I think he probably should have labeled this the points that hurt the canonicity argument because this doesn't hurt it. Neither does the first point. Neither does the second point. Okay, so when asked on Twitter about the game's canonicity, Matt Walker is very cagey in his response and said he wasn't sure he was allowed to comment on what he knows, which is a bit off. The game is simply canon. Not sure why the hesitation. A link, perhaps? Yeah, I was going to say, I've never actually heard Matt Walker respond to any questions about Canicity. That definitely is something worth, like, I'd love to see what he said specifically, because the way these people read Twitter statements is the worst. If I had to guess on the last point, my guess of the game's Canicity is still up in the air. It is supposedly underperforming in China, and the story mode is not yet finished, so Capcom might, get, might distance themselves from the game depending on how things shake out. This is actually completely a fair point. If Matt Walker is not just outright saying it's canon... There's a good chance that if the game fails, they're not going to call it canon specifically because they wouldn't want like fans to not gain access to like information, even though they do gatekeep their own novels. But this this does have plans for a global release, so who knows? Yeah, so this this point might not age well at all. Um, I'm also going to say that like Cap, like if if Matt Walker, first of all, this point kind of shoots the previous point in the foot. If Matt Walker is looking at it from like a production standpoint which he would because he's a producer um then he'd be concerned about how the game's marketed and how successful the marketing is in china before it even gets the global release if it doesn't turn out well and the game flops and they they want to deny its canonicity or put it in an alternate timeline then that would be for financial reasons not because they thought it wasn't accurate to the lore not because they thought it was inconsistent it would be because it wasn't, like, successful enough financially. At that point, I feel like I feel like at that point we'd have to... At, the, at that point we'd have to go ask like, Matt Walker or, like, it's soon enough if, like, anyone wants to dare try that one and be like, hey, so is this information valid or no? <laughs> so, let's no, move on. No, I think, I so, think for now, that oh, is... Okay. That is the... Uh, that is probably the best point to bring up. I'm surprised there's no link for it, but that is definitely the best argument against Kinnicity. But again, this isn't a threat about Canicity. This is a threat about the information of it being low 1C. And that's without mentioning the four or five arguments, additional arguments in favor of it. So, so let's see right here. I just want to address some points. Well, he has never stated how she broke free, but that doesn't contradict it, especially because Auntie Lady acknowledged that, and so it's possible that Pluto have handled this. For the trailers, are you serious? They were just baits, nothing more, because it was made clear it takes place at the DMC3, and in the same trailer, Dante's sort of rebellion is unawakened state, but when you start the game, you can clearly see it's awakened, so yeah, this just supports it. As for Matt Walker, we don't even know if he helped the development of this game to begin with. Um, doesn't matter, he's a producer at Capcom, he should have the autonomy to say if something is canon, just like how he confirmed that DMC2 was retcon to take place before 4. Well, to be fair, that was directly with Itsuno's permission, though. Like, I think he said that in an interview alongside Itsuno, right? That's when he specified the timeline change. Yeah. Almost every single appearance that he makes, if he's not doing it with Insuno, he's doing it with another producer ahead from Capcom, where he has explicitly gotten permission. Yeah, I, I think he kind of likes the idea of, or I think he kind of prefers the idea of not being thrown under the bus, so he won't say anything without permission from someone else. Yeah, he goes, he likes going through the, uh, the pipeline before he makes a decision. It's All a good right. idea. It's so... what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Virgil also, uh, my friend, all games aren't performing in China for obvious reasons. He kept up with news lately. So I actually know what that's talking about because I'm not sure if these two do. Uh, China's government has banned multiple gameplay hours for most people under the age of uh, 18, if I recall correctly. It's yeah, only two hours of gameplay. So every mobile game is going to suffer hard as a result. Yeah, that's... Um... That's especially going to hurt it if, like, they're trying to plan a global release because 
part of like getting it out to your base helps like up not only up your sales but up like the word for how good your game's going to be and if if the country that you're mainly released in has banned certain hours for you being able to play it that makes it very difficult to yes. market the game successfully also man just a producer of one dmc game and doesn't know things outside of it when he was asked if the novels are canon or not he answered that it's canon but only because Tuno told him so meaning he had no idea if it's actually canon or not so until it get confirmed that he had some hand in development of the game we aren't going to take a statement even if his answer is shaky proofing that is fair. Again, like Matt, most of the shit Matt says, he only says because Itsuno said it first or something akin to those lines. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, he brings up the Balrog example from DMC5. So that's good on Dead Guy's part. Maybe we already covered it. I'm not versed on DMC, but I want to say something about what was being proposed. My issue with the Eightfold Path is actually talking about this. And that way they aren't really eight higher dimensions, but instead it's a list of doctrines that... So this is true. We actually did look up the Eightfold Path for Buddhism. It's not eight higher dimensions. It's how to live your life. The thing is, though, is it still has a ninth dimensional statement. So that part doesn't matter. That's also not really relevant anyway, because the souls, as we've established, are inferior to names, which every demon king can manipulate. Okay, so right here. Uh, and it seems that it's, what, it's near to achieving enlightenment, but not really transcending eight of them. So I think that part should be detailed better, because it's because what's already there is not enough to solidify that the reality itself is a 1C structure. Um, again, like... So this is what I kind of have a problem with these people is like there's literally a direct statement of it being ninth dimensional. I like I understand they mm -hmm. want to try and like keep things like from getting too crazy, but how many times do you run to such a blatant statement in fiction? A fundamental ninth Let, dimensional. Let's form. replace let's replace the name DMC with insert any other hack and slash. <laughs> Kyle, no. Well, rather, maybe insert, like, Bayonetta or God of War. Darkseid is probably not... Hey, 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 you, you remember that Bayonetta is potentially getting that upgrade pretty soon? Who, who wants to put money right now? Instantly, like, inst like not even a page gets accepted. <laughs> I'll, I'll put money on that right now, and you guys know I'll win. <laughs> uh, let's post, I'll make a can of topics since I already grew up to this upgrade. Uh, Virgil appeared and Matt's producer. Matt's title is not the producer of DMC of one DMC game. He is his title's producer of Capcom and Peak of Combat is a game that came under his tenure and he confirms to have first hand knowledge of the game that he feels unsure about sharing. Regardless, Capcom's only role overall was supervisor one, not development. That is blatantly wrong. They are involved in the game. They li they literally have people on their dev team that are working with the team that developed this game. That's wrong. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Considering Matt confirms his first time knowledge of Pinnacle Combat, but tiptoes around the canon question. Yeah, because he needs it sooner to confirm it. It's, 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 look, make no mistake. You guys can argue, like, it is Capcom's franchise. It's Itsuno series, though. Like, Itsuno's still running the ship. You gotta get permission from Itsuno before you say what's canon or not. Otherwise, he'll destroy you. It's also, it's also not just that. Capcom trust, doesn't trust anyone else to develop the games, too. He's been the director since, too. Like, and all the source material was created under his knowledge as well. So, all right, of course, go. Matt's gonna ask him. <laughs> it's Uno, sir, please, is it canon? Talk well, to honestly, me later, Matt. Honestly, I'm busy making Dragon's Dogma. Gonna have to do, we are gonna have to do a video covering the Pinnacle of Combat scans because I'm gonna have to bring all the other scans of the lore that the Pinnacle of Combat scans are referenced to. Well, because half the people on VSB don't fucking understand that the scans that come out in Pinnacle of Combat are reference scans. They are not original scans, they are just referring to something that already exists in the lore. You failed to read the lore. <laughs> That's why it's being reiterated here. Because you failed. <laughs> Uh, Mangler, okay. always with his uh, delicate touch. Alright. I'm not saying it's a smoking gun or anything, and again, my position is that the game should be considered canon until confirmed otherwise. Uh, again, like, so even if you think the game's not canon, for the purposes of this thread, it's already been accepted as canon by VSB. This really shouldn't be a discussion. There was word from Itsuno, they supervised the game. Reddit had a scan of that. Dude, if Itsuno says they supervised the game, you need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, ignore the old, poor, forgettable god of other worlds. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm neutral on yeah, yeah. entire 1C stuff, but I do disagree with the idea that the world holds the human world. The scan you posted said the universe was eventually split in two, then the mirror stuff doesn't really prove anything, any of that. A mirror that reflects my image doesn't hold my mass. Yes, it will reflect the world. Dude, the, dude, the, the demon world literally surrounds the human world, like in the little 
Like it kind of surrounds it for the most part. You you are aware that the the mirror world has a statement in Precious Tears that is referred to as transcendent space, right? So it's not even entirely on the same level as the human world is. It's well above that. Now, to to be clear, the human world is its own separate area. But if they were arguing for the idea that the, it was in the demon world, that's not an entirely crazy argument because again, the demon world kind of seems to surround it based on the diagrams we have, which is very basic. But no, so apparently they weren't arguing for that. Seville explicitly notes that the mirror world is basically a copy version of the human world, yet yeah, it's only a small fraction of the demon world serving only as an entrance. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So are they arguing that the demon world doesn't hold universal sized spaces? Because we have statements for infinite sized spaces. Now, remember, everyone on VSB doesn't believe that there are different space times inside the demon world. They actually think everything runs under the same time flow. Even there, even though there are direct statements on Malay Island, and the Samsara and its interactions have direct cutscene evidence of the Nirvana evolutions being its own space-time continuum. Nonsense. Like that's yeah. Why would you even say something like that? Something so ridiculous. Yeah, why? Why would I say that? I was only the person who did all of the DMC three research. My bad. Exactly. Know your place. <laughs> May I misunderstood thing? As I said on Discord, I still agree with 1C Demon World and agree with higher D souls, but I can't find anything wrong with the events of 1C, so I'll Uh, Dianamonte is kind of a little weird here, because, uh, I'm a little surprised he disagrees, but, uh, you know, I teach their own. Alright, fine, time to make a response. We're going to 90 soul scan the Eightfold Path. First off, the fact you said Nirvana is where they go, where the souls go beyond the Eightfold Path, shows that you don't understand what the, the hell the Eightfold Path is supposed to be. The Eightfold Path for Buddhism specifically states it leads you to Nirvana. The fact that you have a scan that says it goes beyond the Eightfold Path, assume it goes to the place that it goes beyond in the first place, makes no damn sense whatsoever. Uh, what? Okay, so the Eightfold Path leads you to Nirvana. So if you go beyond the Eightfold Path, which leads you to Nirvana, where would you end up? If you if you go past the eightfold path, do, 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 <laughs> I think that might mean Nirvana, but I could be crazy. Uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Also, but the area that the Nirvana of Illusions is located in is also a specific dimension where I don't know. It leads into a pocket of space where Sparta's sword is sealed away. You know, the guy that scales above the demon world and all the alternate timeline continuities? Oh, Gee, yeah. it would it be crazy that he has a specific space that's beyond the Eightfold Path? I'm not saying I agree with that. I'm just saying if you think that's, like, out of line for whatever particular reason, keep in mind the man who decided to choose that location and what his feats are. Really bad argument. Mm, it smells like demon spirit. <laughs> you have a scan that says really? it goes beyond the eightfold path and assume that it goes to the place beyond the first place makes no damn sense whatsoever. It actually does. You're just. I, I just want to put out here, like, again, okay. like, you don't even need the Nirvana part. Be... Okay, the, the, this guy's not uh, not understanding the fact that they go to Nirvana. I, I, I don't think he realized he just could, like, could bane himself. You 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 just had to, didn't you? You just fucking had to. It's just like where where else would you assume the higher dimension to be? And of course he doesn't like, understand. Again, again, I'm gonna make it clear. They need to be baby they need to be spoon fed. It needs to be so blatant. We need to literally have an exact statement that says they go to Nirvana. This area is a higher dimension beyond the entire demon world. It's like what, so I can't have a nuanced explanation? Or I can't have, like, five other additional conjoining statements that explain it that just aren't one direct statement? Like, jeez. Okay, let's continue here. The demons having been, the demons being before the demon world doesn't exactly prove tier 1 stuff. That is a neutral statement used to argue tier 1, so it just proves demons exist before the demon world was a thing. Well, no, it, he's arguing that the that the primordial chaos would be before everything. But again, like, again, none of this fucking matters. They can affect souls. Like, they can affect the ninth dimensional object in question. There's no argument here. Their, their weapons that Dante uses are made from their souls. Having a low 2C structure doesn't really help much for tier 1. That can boost the tier 2 realms for sure, but it doesn't really add much beyond there exists other realms in DMC. Just saying dimensions doesn't automatically mean higher realms of infinity. 
that can just mean parallel universes or so unless Chan is more specific that can just mean an alternate universe no because again DMC's wording is very clear I don't think the alternate timeline is ever referred to as an alternate dimension is it no it's refer. it's literally stated by Dante when he arrives after he talks with Shadow that this is an alternate world and an alternate universe he does stay <laughs> that it's the beast heads have the ability to shift between dimensions, but what he describes the world to be is a different universe. And uh, he also refers to it as a parallel universe. You could argue, like, that one's a little more fair to argue, but again, like, the 9D object in question can be affected by almost everyone in the verse. Like, so I don't really understand the argument here. Even in the alternate timeline. I don't really the buy the high godly stuff, given it's not backed by any more in the games and in fact contradicts it. Nightmare and DMC1 dies when its soul is gone. Stan? Griffin and Nightmare and Phantom and 5 die when their soul is gone. Griffin, Phantom, and Nightmare and 5 are not demons. They are memory fragments. They don't apply to what the demons apply to technically. And when you shatter their core, their core can regenerate over time. That is true. Also, we can just argue Dante can negate their healing factor. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. VSB literally does. Never mind. I don't even need to make an argument. This person debunked themselves in five seconds. <laughs> Moving on. Hang, hang on. We have to finish it. Dante mission total DMC3 has to carry a Neo generator, which is literally sucking his soul away. The mission description literally says reclaim the bridge before the soul is lost forever. I mean, okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Uh, he wouldn't need to survive, apparently, but that's fine. <laughs> if we don't succeed in the mission, Dante dies while in double trigger form, so he can die by his soul being gone. Okay, so this one's a little, so this one's a little iffy because this is like this is a hardcore gameplay mechanic moment. Yeah. So you can legitimately just argue that the reason that happens is not because it's lore accurate, but because the tension in the mission would be gone and would ruin the mission. We also, we this also is... say that it isn't lore accurate because the same thing also exists in DMC two as well, and Lucia is literally stated to be incapable of dying from having her soul absorbed. She actually has to get damaged in addition to that, so it's not even consistent among gameplay mechanics for the same thing in DMC. That also oh God, that in the lore. This is the equivalent of trying to say that like Dante would have died to the poison fumes in DMC four when the <laughs> generator stops like when the fans stop sucking up. Uh, apparently he would have uh, okay so and uh, there's also a Sin Scythe demon stated to kill Dante by reaping its soul and he has to escape from death in order to not die. Uh, so then be well, I mean he killed death in DMC3, so I don't know what that's about. So then being able to come back even when their soul is gone is BS when the series has shown the opposite. Uh, you Lucia can just argue that the has... well, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was gonna say you can just argue that the destruction being caused by the demons is just higher than soul destruction, but I mean like I think Mangler had something else in mind. So um, the series has shown the opposite. Um, maybe like you back the fuck up um demons <laughs> literally go to the human world without their souls i uh, what you know, is he cheap. can't survive his soul being gone they literally are like well yeet. i'm gonna travel on down to the supermarket which in this case is the human world with just my mind alone and make a new body for myself <laughs> what right. do you mean um, also, for the 90 souls in general, can I ask why we are taking this one statement as legit when every time we've seen demon souls in the form of devil arms be just 3D objects? Well, first off, if it's a demon weapon, it's already not a 3D object. It'd be a 4D object, technically. But, whatever. Uh, yeah, considering man. this is one of the most consistent showings we have of souls being shown, well, how is it consistent with souls being shown to be 3D? And we have just one random statement of souls being 9D with no extra information to back it up. I do not see why it should be taken as legit for hacks, let alone being AP scaling. Well, because new information kind of takes precedence over old information. But, uh, which is yet a reason why I want this to wait before we get more scans of the Tier 1 stuff, since as of now, we're just making massive assumptions without any legit proof to back it up. Well, we have the statement. Uh, okay, so half of this is valid if he just said, which is another reason I wanted to wait for this uh, to solidify Tier 1 stuff. Yes. If he just cut this off and then added, like, I just think more information would make it super solid and irrefutable or something. Like probably I, not the best response, but that would have been that would have been arguably the smartest I, thing this person said, and far more reasonable than 
massive assumptions without any legitimate proof to so back it up. again even on this channel while we do mention these scans i've said on my live streams that i want to wait for an official release to get more information and context so i do i do agree they're jumping the gun a little bit but they kind of already jumped the gun by giving dante measurable speed this was bound to happen before we actually got more evidence and, and i mean they jumped in pinnacle of combat and capcom as a whole jumped the gun by allowing statements this blatant to exist in the game vsb simply just decided well it's there so i also, guess we'll use it also this is this is kind of irrelevant vsb has made it clear they don't give a fuck about english translations that so is, let, that, that is true let's be clear you do not give a crap about a global leak, like legalized release here, um, and I, I've already mentioned this. Like several people in the server have already been about this. Devil, especially, who unfortunately is not here. Uh, if that English release gets dropped and the statements aren't exactly accurate, but they don't have a conflict, Devil is just going to use the original scan, and I don't see any reason why he would be wrong by your logic. So, waiting for the official release, I understand for more information. But if you're arguing well, as for long as we're not being petty about it, after all. Okay, well, uh, let's also make <laughs> let's also make this very clear. Just because the English release doesn't say exactly what the Chinese or the Japanese or whatever the fuck the raw says, that's not a contradiction. <laughs> well, unless there's actually a contradiction. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now on to on to Tony. All right. So English major. E English major. No. Explain. <laughs> Explain in a sentence how something could be a contradiction. Do a contradiction in a sentence. The only ones I can think of are going to get me in trouble with YouTube. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. Let's move on to Tony because this, this guy has the, the real... I take it you're not a big fan of this one. All right, so I, I will read it and you just go ahead and tell me when you want me to stop. And please wait at least a sentence. I will, I will point out that Seville does respond to some of this stuff, so we'll, we'll uh, talk about that as well, but we won't have to go into too much of it. I really didn't want to come here for this. I had plans for other series I like, but well, here I am. Tony, I feel you, mate. I don't remember how to make spoilers and all that shit, so pardon my big-ass post. Um, I think everyone at this point would know about this, whatever. Let's start with the Nirvana BS. The first thing is the Nirvana is just a name. It doesn't have any elaboration or lore in DMC3. It has nothing except some descriptions in the official guide, with the most important part being examine a tombstone to enter a dreamlike version of the boss fights. Bro, don't don't disrespect my uh Wait, aren't there two Nirvanas? There's two. There's Infinite Nirvana and Lost Souls Nirvana, right? Then and the Nirvana of the Illusions. The entire area that you interact with the Samsara is the Nirvana. Okay, yeah, the no, Samsara, so <laughs> the Samsara literally has the description and design of the Samsara is taken from the Eightfold Path. It's designed to look like he's <laughs> full <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I opened up that I opened up that cascade. That's my fault, but no, bad mingler, bad. What? what? I'm feeling I'm feeling really dumb, but that makes that mission like make a lot more sense with the areas you go to. It does. <laughs> well, to be fair, none of us really expected to be Buddhism, even though we probably should have thought about that since it has Nirvana in the fucking name. But whatever. No. <laughs> oh, you know, maybe, maybe I just thought it was more about Teenage Spirit than anything else. How, how could I have seen otherwise? Uh, nothing about souls or dead demons or anything in general. Dude, you literally fight dead demons in there for dreamlike versions of the boss it fight. Literally the area that confirms the demon world has separate time flows. Wh right. What do you mean nothing in general? The you... only... Oh, huh? Sorry. The only thing ever remotely hints at souls is the name of the area, Lost Souls Nirvana. Good enough for me. The other areas are even less reference to the in real life thing. Well, technically, none of us know what Nirvana's like. Technically, I, 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 I think that's kind of the point of Nirvana. None of us know what it's like because we haven't Both achieved Nirvana. Beyond, I, I hear it's a blast. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you must have so many references to Nirvana just chilling around. What? I got that joke! I got that, you son of a bitch! Anyway, right. yeah, I, I'm sorry. Uh, the only reason. <laughs> The only reason this problem started is because the OP is using the name of a place and the random statement of the souls depending on combat and with the knowledge of the in real life theology. Okay, so first off, I personally don't think you should be really using any in real life theology for most scaling, but I can kind of understand where he's coming from, but I think that definitely causes problems. Just use the just use the simple 90 statement there. Unify and both to make it seem huh? Why not? It works for Avatar. 
I'm not gonna get into that right now. Not 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 today. <laughs> uh, the only reason the problem is okay. So um, unifying both to make it seem like it was always intended to be like that, which is pretty much in real life cross scaling. AFK the site doesn't use that. Uh, again, I kind of agree that the idea of using real life Nirvana scale or real life Buddhism scaling to help with this is a little silly. I think that leaving religions alone or theologies alone is probably for the best for most people. But you know, VSP just wants to do their own thing. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Who am I to judge? My second problem is the whole scan. It seems people can't read. The scan clearly says it originates and returns to higher dimension beyond the Eightfold Path. If we are cross-scaling within real life theology, a very stupid thing to do. As far as I understand, the Nirvana isn't exactly higher dimension beyond the Eightfold Path, more so the ending of it and the liberation of oneself from all the material and worldly needs and everything it conveys. That's fair. Um, that, is, that is also accurate as well. That is what, that is what lies beyond the Eightfold Path. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there's also the issue that this whole Eightfold Path and Nirvana thing have different interpretations based on the religion you are using. What other religion mentions the Eightfold Path and Nirvana? Is that a, I, I kind of uh, scan, please? Nope. Uh, I would also like to say that it's kind of funny that he says the ending of it all, liberation of oneself and material and worldly needs and everything it conveys. He does realize that when demons die in the demon world, they just respawn in the demon world. Like V's statements and visions of V confirm that when he kills them, they just return to the demon world. Soul Eaters confirm the demons just reform in the demon world. When humans die, they also just go to the demon world. Confirmed by 3142 Graphics Arts book as the, the reason the Misra look the way they do and the reason the Reapers look the way they do is that they're humans that just die during the events of those games and became them. So everybody goes to the demon world when they die. So if there's an area inside of the demon world referred to as the Lost Souls Nirvana, oh, Nirvana of Illusions. Wait. And you, it's, know we have, you, know, you know how we have the, the seven um the seven hell scenes? Yeah. Yeah. Actually we have eight because of the abyss. It makes sense. I'm connecting dots. Let's keep going. Well, My hmm. mind is expanding. Also, no, I think you can argue the Grim Reaper is the eighth one if we're going that route, since he is technically their boss. So the the problem I have with uh, like I understand scaling one to one theology is is like problematic because they say they have different DMC three is just uh, you being up corporate the, workers. So for starters, one, how do they acknowledge things like God of War? For two, how the fuck do they acknowledge DMC at all? Because DMC 2's instruction manual confirms all the gods are canon. It literally explains there are too many gods to count from all various, like from various belief systems and people. Yeah, so for context for people who don't know much about DMC2's lore, uh, DMC's cosmology is like Record of Ragnarok and High School DxD. All the religions are basically canon. They, they just, ex all the gods just exist in a different dimension. Well, and the, ones, the ones that are still alive anyway. The, the, one, the ones that are still alive. The ones, the ones that, that aren't are Odin and the Norse. <laughs> Or any of the ones that had their hearts taken out and exist as, like, trinkets for our devil triggers. <laughs> you know? Except for those ones, and does, maybe the Divinity Statue guy. Does the Norse mythology have a god of time, or no? Uh, I'm not... I'm sure it does. Well, if it does, I think we know whose heart it belongs to now. Time, probably. Alright, <laughs> not, not the time. In any case, nothing of this is explained in the scans for Pinnacle Combat or everything using the Imberlock theology make the Nirvana in this nine-dimensional world the same thing, it's just dishonest. I mean, again, like, I, I think maybe our standards are a little too low, guys, because I guess we're the only people who saw a ninth-dimensional soul, people who can hurt that ninth-dimensional soul, and are just like, this is ninth-dimensional. Wait, 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 where's, <laughs> where, where the fuck does he, um, where, where's, I, I don't see something here, we have a problem, where's the response to it being a fundamental ninth-dimensional soul? Where is it? I don't see it. Okay, moving on. This, this uh, uh, again, I, I guess we just have. I guess I guess we're just not looking hard enough at the scans, guys. I guess I guess maybe we should consider something going forward. Maybe maybe we're just not doing this right. The regeneration part. There has been a whole lot of arguing about this. It just changes slash contradicts slash retcons the known lore of the game. So put it in perspective as we clearly accept that the human world was born out of the energy of the demon world and it got separated from the demon world for, or the world of darkness. Technically, it never got fully separated because otherwise the tree never would have grown. But whatever. Uh, and this, and this, as the scan that, but as the scan puts it, there was a primordial chaos for the existence of the demon world. Said chaos spawned demons in the coming demon world, formed demons. Quite a change, eh? Taking this into account, um, demons are supposed to predate the existence of the demon world. It makes no sense that the demon world they are meant to predate has any bearing on them or the souls that came out of their existence. 
This point is further emphasized by, with the names. The power of a name, for the moment of their birth, names are one of the most sacred things to demons. They represent not only power, but also the concept of their own existence, the basic principalities which predate even the creation of the demon world itself. Uh, it manifests itself as part of the soul that forms them. Basically, their concept, which later on became the soul or part of it, are basic principles that predate even the creation of the demon world. This shows how little power the demon world has over them. Well, that's... So, we're, I have a big problem with this. So, he says that, like, basically, it got retconned that this, it got, that the human world got separated from the demon world or the world of darkness. Again, puts it here, the primordial chaos came before the existence of the demon world chaos spawned all the demons. That's quite the change. No, it isn't, actually... Because the primordial existence and the unending chaos are the same thing. It doesn't establish in this thing, it doesn't establish in this scan that the demons came about, like, that literally came into creation once the worlds were split. It just says the darkness became the realm of the demons. The only reason it became a realm of the demons by extension here is it's that there was, the human world. Another, there was just another realm. Yeah, so, yeah, so, saying it predates the demon world, you could just legitimately argue that it just predates the splitting of the two realms, or the, before the beam of light that randomly showed up out of fucking nowhere. You know, that normal ray of light. Also, the, the, yeah. <laughs> also, the demon world having little power over demons, um, you mean, other than the fact that it provides them energy? It literally is their lifeblood and their life source and everything, as according to DMC2's novel, basically. I mean, granted, they're not bound by some of the rules that the demon world establishes for them outside of powers created by other demons. I understand that. But the energy source for their demonic power is provided in the atmosphere, in the environment. Nonsense, Mangler. Let's oh. continue. Basically, they're okay. Souls are beyond the confines of the demon world. Laughs in that every soul gets mutated or transformed by the demon world. Um, with their no, like, unironically, guys, DMC 2's like monkey monsters, too, are humans corrupted by the demon world. Like, it's their souls corrupted. You arcane, the arc arachnid spider literally says it is just a human soul. That no, 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 mangler, no, 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 mangler, no, mangler. And, is and that the or... original Japanese raw? Is that the original first draft description? <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 are we not gonna bring up how you basically turn into one of the one of the sins if you're like, you know, if you just die? Yeah, like I said before, <laughs> if you just die during the events of DMC three, you become a sin. You just become a oh, reaper. Oh, 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 wait, hang on. Now some may say, what about the demon world soul fuckery with demons? The answer is simple: hacks. This is the. Stupidest what? thing okay. you could uh, ever make. Can, 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 I, 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 I don't know if this has any relevance, but I, I just want to say that the flying whale, that's literally just the portable jail of jealousy. No, no, no Kyle. Uh, every time a demon even... T even even when Dante touches the soul of a demon, that is not actually him touching it. It is Hax. He is actually telepathically holding it in his hand. He has not Absolutely. actually touched it. When he stabs it with rebellion, aka the physical manifestation of his power, nope. it is just hacks. No, nope. it is all just hacks. So, so when the white rabbit says that power is the unwritten law of the demon world, not nope. abilities. No, it is. It is all hacks. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. The beast heads can empower souls and drain souls and empower demons. No, nope. I. Uh, it literally transforms a soul into raw power for demons, which would automatically give it the higher dimensional power. Uh, must, must be. Must when be Abigail was stated to rival the power of the Demon King, just hacks. All, 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 all hacks. DMC has always been nothing but hacks. You know uh, what? Like, no, like just understand how stupid this is. Like the the regular, like, like Kyle pointed out earlier, the Seven Sins, they are literally the tormentors of hell. They just walk up to souls. And torment them. So I guess they just all do it with the hacks we never see. Hey, hang on, hang on a minute. Wait, this is on. this Look. is fundamentally stupid when you consider some of VF, VSB's rules about DMC because they accept uh, statistics amplification for demons. They accept if that that if their AP gets higher, their speed also gets higher because of how demonic energy works. So their hacks would scale to their AP anyway. Which you would literally argue because that's how that works. No, 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 no. Yeah. Sid doesn't exist. No. <laughs> okay, so now the cosmology thing. Okay, here we uh, go. The darkness you know, presents. Huh? 
you know what? We've never had an instance in the series where we see someone get more demonic power and they haven't become. You know what? We've never seen them get more power. Well, and then you know, by by some coincidence, I assume they just get stronger and faster. Nope, nope, nope. It, it's it's all been hacks. Everything DMC demons do is all hacks. Their scythe is hacks. Their hands is hacks. The ability to grab something, all hacks. We've all been deceived. The ability to breathe, hacks. <laughs> Plants will call it hacks. The darkness presents in the manga is supposed to be the demon world. With the new sort of pinnacle combat, we don't know what spawned the darkness, or if this darkness is the chaos or the demon world. We do know the darkness is the demon world, though. It literally becomes the realm of the demons. Zim, what? Do you do you remember the rock in DMC one that literally got mutated because it it was just in the demon world? In the human world, actually, it just gained new properties. It's called Luminite. Mm. No, it's it's called Rock Axe. <laughs> oh it, yeah, my my it, bad. The, 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 so what the demon world does is instead of giving you power or magical abilities, it just gives you hacks abilities. Nothing <laughs> in the demon world is AP. It's all just been hacks. So we'll we'll go over a little bit why that is completely. No. Uh, to don't, you all remember, don't you all remember <laughs> the scene from from DMC Three? Arkham wanted the hacks of a god. <laughs> 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 okay, hang on. Uh, Is that uh, so each, wrong? Given <laughs> each of us flows his blood, but more importantly, his hacks. <laughs> Wait, no. did you mean his soul? No, 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 no. It's all ever been hacks. Yeah, you know that one meme where it's like they have the two astronauts? It's Wait, it's actually not this? Always has been. It's That's just hacks now at this point. Alright, all right, so it says, we don't know if this is what spawned this darkness or if this darkness is the chaos of the demon world. The LP will probably say this is chaos before it exists. Pinnacle Combat says nothing about this the chaos of darkness being the same. Let me read this again. Unending darkness, a crucible of chaos. But even to that primordial existence, there came a ray of light. You do not need you do not need the pinnacle of combat to retread this entire information. As uh, I said, uh, it's just a reference statement. So, Mangler, do, do they actually have the official DMC Frey manga? Yes. This is this is the page from the three manga, which is why I'm baffled. Now, now, <laughs> hang, now, hang on a minute, Mangler. Hang on a minute. Is that the official Japanese first draft raw? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess it's not official. I, I, is it? I, I'm sorry. I, it need, I need the sketch. Uh, it can't be fully like detailed. I, I, I actually it. need the very first attempt of the draft. That is all I will accept. Does he think that the chaos in this regard is like something that actually exists as a force of nature? Like the chaos is just. It's chaos oh, as a result of it being unending darkness. I'm gonna do a Final Fantasy 15 video soon. I'm gonna use a translation. I'm gonna be eaten alive by people who are like the Japanese raw is the only acceptable information. <laughs> oh shit! Oh fun times. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, it's also Everyone just wants to be Gordon. They all want to be fucking <laughs> raw. It's just nothing about like chaos and darkness being the same. <laughs> I would love that. That was a short joke. That was a great. I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm just laughing at how fucked I am. As shown with the four scans above, if you accept the darkness being the demon world, and you have a scan that literally says the to the primordial existence there came a ray of light, you have no argument. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, hang on, hang on, Angler. Should should uh, uh wait, hang on. Uh, maybe primordial doesn't mean the very first thing. Let me look at what primordial means. I, I gotta make sure. Um, I'll, I'll I'll make it. I'll spell it out for you. Existing it's, at it's, or from the beginning of time. Well, uh, mm, that original first in line, first in sequence as well. Yep. Um, well, interpretation is the most heated topic. There is no interpretation. It is a blatant statement. <laughs> There, there is truth in this case, and there are lies. Okay, or like here. This. So I'll wait for more people. But the noteworthy part here is the creation of the human world, or is just how just is just the universe created by the demon world. Yes, the demon world dwarfs it, but unless things have changed while I was away, there shouldn't be near enough to just fight tier one rating or a full transcendence of whatever we use to determine tier one. I just want to point out again, we still don't know what the fuck that ray of light was. We just have to assume that's Pluto. First of all. A full transcendence. The demon world already has consistent four defeats, and the human world has nothing on that level. As it, it does have lady world. who can choose her own age depending on the game. And bus size. And but uh, um, unfortunate, very unfortunate. 
So, so like, what what do you mean? It we seems to have... be aging backwards. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. So hang on. Before before we interrupt Mangler again, Mangler, you want to get something else off? I was just gonna say, um, what what full transcendence? You mean like being one whole dimension higher? Nope. Hmm. The mirror dimension. All these walls rise for. The only things we know is that it reflects evil in humanity and it serves the interests of the world and Mount Island. There's never anything about its nature beyond the reflection, its real size, or what it does reflect besides the island. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this out right now. It literally has a fucking reverse sun, so you can't argue it only reflects the island. We literally see a reverse sun in the sky. Very trippy, mind you, but still. These, these are the, these are the same these are the same people who eat blue while looking at all of the savior dimensions and being like, yes, this is just a recreation of just the forest. <laughs> also, uh, each, almost each savior dimension has an actual star in the night in the sky. When you when you nope. see the reverse sun, you know what it happens to be doing. It's more blue. It's only more blue. It's absorbing light, which a sun would be doing if it were in reverse, because the sun emits light. It nope. doesn't absorb nope. it. No, nope. Mangler bad. The scan the OP used to imply it is a space time continuum is not only not talking about the size, but it literally means the mirror in the castle is a portal, another window in time and space. Literally only serves the anti travel in their dimension isn't the human world nor the demon world. Nothing about this is low two C universe. Again, it's so here's the thing. If it's another window to time and space, that means okay, it's a separate time and space. But again, it's a reflection of the human world and the evil of humanity. Again, yes. it has a fucking sun. You can't yes, argue and, we, and when we look at it, the black hole sun is just absorbing light. Yeah, I, I have to ask, was that a reference to Black Hole Sun? The song by Soundgarden? Won't you come? <laughs> also, um, I mean, first of all, the mirror world being reversed is already a phenomenon that's explained when it comes to parallel universes. That most parallel universes are viewed from us as oh, a universe that I, just blows. I, I don't. I don't think he cares about any of that. I think he just cares about it not being a little two C dimension and not being I, a universe. I, I'm just saying, if something is flowing in reverse, it blatantly has a different time space. It's blatantly a different time space continuum. Um, that's oh. without mentioning Christian's Tears refers to it as a transcendent space. So Actually, it would not have the same. Come, come and think of it. Uh, if it's a reverse universe, that most likely means it's not a universe because the universe is infinitely expanding. So this will be infinitely deteriorating. Oh yes. But that's no, whatever. Not now. Okay, uh, Chen. For starters, use of dimension DMC is mostly used to describe another universe. And yeah, potentially fair game. That's, that's not. Well, a... hold, hold up a second. If you accept that, you just gave the human world less. Rooms are there. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, does this guy have any idea? Like, oh, see, this well, problem. Like, they didn't understand the ramifications of their statements. It's you just like, you want to repeat I'm, that again because you did cut out a little bit there. Okay, hang on. Let me. Okay, am I am am I coming through clear now? Go ahead. Let me be abundantly clear. When you say that the use of dimensions as DMC is mostly to describe another universe, you are shooting yourself in the foot if you are making arguments like the mirror dimension isn't another universe or that, like, it doesn't have anything beyond, like, low 2 CO2. Ah, because he just got done saying it would be a universe? Well, so... No, actually. It's because... If you are under the impression that it's near baseline 2C and you think the use of dimension in DMC is mostly used to describe another universe, dude, do you have any idea how many times the word dimension is used in DMC 2 alone? <laughs> Lucia and Dante are BFR'd like three or four times in the game to what is described as alternate dimensions. By your logic, all of them are the size of universes. All the secret rooms and all the dimensions that are used for secret rooms are also like canon based on descriptions we have from one as well like all their dimensions would still be there what this place isn't but the actual spaces would be so all of those would be used as well okay I, I'm just saying that that's a pretty massive upgrade the demon world is often referred to as another dimension the demon world's more than one like infinite space though so whatever the mirror world is named the mirror dimension wait so hang on hang on if you're saying dimensions mean other universes yeah no mainland just already broke that one down but still all right yeah. so yeah like you shoot yourself in the foot 
Now, let me give you context of Chan. He absorbed the Deus Ex called the Beast Heads. Again, so that's not really what Deus Ex Machina is, but I'm not going to get too much into that right now. Well, actually, Deus Ex, so he doesn't call it Machina. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be more accurate to call it the MacGuffin? Yeah. Well. Actually, no. No, no because a MacGuffin is an item that... Re- MacGuffins aren't as useful as the Beast Heads. The Beast Heads is very intrinsical to the plot, and it's actually shown being used repeatedly. Also, the Beast Heads... The problem with arguing the MacGuffin here is that the Beast Heads, just based on the way that Chen is using it, cannot consistently be the one thing that he... Well, I mean, it's what he needs to achieve his goals, but it doesn't even, like... Yeah, God from the Machine, so I don't know... How, I I guess it, I guess the Deus Ex is the Beast Heads, but it's like, you never really hear about that Deus Ex Machina at the end of it. So, it's a little weird. An artifact that allows the user to watch other universes, like the Alter Dimension Dante goes to in novel. Again, that's not really its actual power at all. It actually lets you see into the future. It doesn't let you see, it, its power is not to let you watch other universes, like some fucking beepy Tom. what Chen describes it to be, that's not what Dukas describes it to be, and that's not what Dante describes it to he be. He has this power but with the beast. <laughs> no, actually- All these different descriptions of its power. Isn't that funny? And yeah, none of them say that. Going on. Uh, now his main purpose in life is to know everything there is. He's greedy for knowledge and a statement might as well be talking about how he wants to know about other universes that exist. Um, again, you could argue that, but it kind of doesn't... It's not really supported by the novel outside of there being a separate alternate timeline. Also, uh, funnily enough, the Beast Heads don't actually show people about the other timeline. Void Moon just knew about it without his Beast Heads. It's never confirmed he needed his Beast Heads to know about Dante in the alternate timeline. That's, that's also a problem when we consider that if... Chen wants to know about the other timelines. Why the fuck did the writer cover the alternate timeline continuity and then have it be destroyed right before they show up to fight Chen? What is the actual point then of Chen going and visiting the alternate timeline continuities? Not necessarily about higher dimensional planes, but for the sake of argument, let's say there are indeed higher dimensional planes. Nothing about it indicates they are within the demon world or the human world. Not only that, we do not know how many of these all dimensions are. It could very well be four or five or infinite of them. Basically, using this as proof is the most vague and lame excuse to try and show how dimensions exist in the DMC universe. I do kind of agree that Chen by himself, we would never argue his statement. And Well, I mean, you could argue for maybe 5D because it says like he's beyond space and time situation. But it's like even then, that's not really accurate. Beyond all of time and all. Angler? Angler? I'm here. Hey, that's only if you want to use the raw. No, 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 no. But no, it doesn't. It doesn't work because we're not God of War. Guys, I guess. I guess we also don't get to use the statement from Arius. You know, the game that takes place two weeks after the events of this event, nope. where Arius states directly, "I will gain the power of Argosax, so I can. Tr- I must gain the power of Argosax, or I cannot transcend all living things." Nope. No. Nope, uh, that, that's all flareful language. Demon World Farty, a universe in existence means little, and at best you could get low 1C since it dwarfs one space time. Mirror World is. Okay, so I guess they go off the. I guess. Because Neil's, Neil's Wiki does this as well, where they argue if you can make a fourth dimensional space, you would have to be superior to it, which is kind of weird, so I guess they're going off that logic. By, by the way, if, if you believe that logic is valid, Demon World is already a 5D structure. <laughs> Firstly, I'm fine with the soul hacks. The soul stuff is very clear and stupid. As pinnacle combat is a scam, we might get more in the future. True. I'm not sure with the region about their arguments for everything here. Hacks and other stuff is good, but it should scale to Dante only. He is the only one who fights these demons, referring to the ones in pinnacle combat. And at this point in time, his power has surpassed that of Virgil by a large margin. This gap is only covered in power. Uh, thanks to Moon just making him something else. Narrow is bitch tier, but Sparta should scale. Okay, so Let's this is one at a time. <laughs> It should only scale to Dante only. He only uh, he's the only one that fights these demons. These demons yeah, fuck don't Virgil. Scale. <laughs> one, these demons, based on statements, should not scale above a good chunk of the uh, the more powerful lesser demons in the series. You could, you have could literally go. argue the abyss are superior to most of these minor demons. Yeah, you could argue You can also the, make the argument the most that Mundus demons is demons. generals. Oh, Mundus' generals will for sure scale above these guys. They're literally his generals. Yeah, they fight stronger versions of Dante. Are you arguing DMC one Dante would lose to this Dante? That makes no fucking sense. Yeah. So just to clarify, like everyone in the timeline who f- can even touch Dante or fight him in any capacity scales to this Dante, unless for you want to argue Dante's been getting weaker throughout the games. 
That For as much as, as it's a meme that Nero is shitty, um, if you actually read Deadly Fortune, he actually hang gives on, Dante hang, a run for his money. Hang on, we're getting to that later. We haven't, we still haven't covered <laughs> this there, portion. There's more. There's more. So, this is also a problem when you consider the fact that all of the generals have the wonderful habit of fighting Dante multiple times. So they survive fights with him and come back to fight him multiple times. And their power is greater in their final fights. As the end of time doesn't even work on that. Well, actually, it doesn't work on them, period. Nonsense. They get um, uh, at this point in time, his power surpassed that of Virgil by a large margin. Well, and actually, we can't agree. disagrees with you. Yeah, we because... actually... Oh, hang on. I need to increase your guys' audio. It's been a little this entire time. There we go. Yeah, no. Um, they were like equally during DMC three, and we don't really have much evidence that he's gone much stronger in that time frame. Literally, the only reason Dante wins that fight is because Virgil handicaps himself by using the Force Edge, which at this point is a vastly inferior sword to what Yamato was capable of. Also, just to be clear as well, literally, he's anyone... also good. He was also using a fighting style he's not familiar with, unlike Yamato. I mean, you, you can make the argument people. that, like, oh, well, you know, they master weapons instantly. You're still going to have more experience using the same weapon you use over and over again versus something it else. Just has, it just has better abilities. Now, to be fair, it, it, Virgil is stated that when he does use the Force Edge, he's become complete and he's the ultimate enemy or whatever. Like, there, there are statements that he is stronger. But again, like, even if you want to look at the actual cutscenes, he's not even holding Yamato when he goes to charge on Dante. If he was actually holding Yamato, he could have gotten a second swing off before the first swing even lands. But yep. that's just that's just two-sword style, so I'm not going to get too much on that one. Um, again, so just to be clear, literally everyone who shows up to fight Dante at any point in the games after this moment and can actually fight him scales to this. So I don't understand why Nero doesn't scale. He's literally able to uh -oh. keep up with a Sim DT Dante. Also this, oh no! This gap is only hang on. This gap is only covered in power thanks to Moon just making. Oh no! The, the the spider apprentices. A hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Hang he, on! He let them. He let them. Fuck the spider apprentices! <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say this gap is only covered in power thanks to Moon just making something else. DMC 2's novel would like to punch you in the mouth. Wait. Um, it is established in two separate statements. One that Dante's fight with Nell Angelo was a tough opponent, and two, that he was one of the strongest enemies that, that he fought, and he barely beat him. Nello Angelo is under mind control, and thus has not had the ability to use face it for himself for ten full years. I, 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 and Dante I, has, has access to human blood, is not having his soul being corrupted, and he's completely sentient, and... He's being amped by the Alistair sword. So, actually... And, and Virgil is still matching him. So, e even ignoring all those issues, I just want to make... Because I'm stuck on the Nero part more than the Virgil part. I just want to make it clear. This man is arguing that DMC5 Nero, who was able to fight Urizen, a Sin DT... Well, he didn't fight Sin DT Dante, to be fair, but he did knock he him down. Stop. And he stopped. Both Sin DT and Dante, a Sin Virgil. DT Virgil, who granted they are fatigued, but you're really going to argue that Nero doesn't scale to DMC three Dante, or my, my apologies, post DMC one Dante. You're really going to argue that at this point. Also, now, as well, it's now, like, oh, Virgil doesn't scale. It's like, I'm sorry, I must be remembering the first fight with Nello Angelo wrong. If I remember correctly, he was beating Dante's ass like a drum. He literally the wins the fight! And the only reason he stops is because the amulet falls out. and He, he unironically like, speed blitzes Dante! Well, he doesn't speed blitz, he catches the guard still. I must also be forgetting the multiple statements that they have between all of three source material where he's like, we are the sons of Sparta, with each of us flows his blood, and more importantly, his soul. Or when the Mad Hatter literally says, you were sons of Sparta, from which his powers were split evenly. Identical faces, identical powers. Wait, 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 or when Griffin's like, oh, yours are the powers of Sparta. 
Yeah, no, so this is just absurd to argue that Neora or Virgil doesn't scale. Also, if you well, think Mobius or Argostack scales to this, which they would, they're Demon Kings, then yeah, Virgil and Neora should scale for sure. This so, is just so, absurd. No, no, we're getting into Nero now, so I'll be I'll be clear here. I was on the train that Nero did not have Demon King Feast for the longest time, but do you know why that was? It was because I didn't have clear translation like scans. Is it because you downloaded Nero? Is it because no, it was because, it was downplay? because of the and further elaboration on five. I'll let However, downplay. The moment, literally the fucking instant, I got a scan that V said that Malthus was too much for him to handle, I immediately put Nero at Demon King level. The literal instant that that happened. Because it established that she's above Unsealed Nightmare. But you don't even need that. Just read Deadly Fortune. Deadly Fortune makes it clear very blatantly that the Savior is needed as his core. The Savior fuel, he fuels the course, the core of the Savior, gives it the ability to fly, and gave it most of its power, not the crystals that were on his body, and gave it the you, ability that needed to fight Dante in the novel. Dante also want... describes it as fast enough and strong enough to tank and react to his blows as well. If you actually want to go a step further, he he also kind of like was supplying the energy that the savior needed to do the beam that that Dante energy. had to block with Dreadnought. He wasn't kind of supplying it; he was, and he also didn't have Yamato. When, when also, the savior like, sees Dante, he tries to hit him with a death ray that's designed to negate his healing factor. And in the new translation, it actually clarifies that Dante doesn't have the opportunity to dodge because it will reduce him to ashes. And he has to Dreadnought, and when he Dreadnoughts, he literally cannot physically move because of the force being inflicted upon him. He's actually stuck in the position, and he can't leave until after the shockwave has passed over his body. All right. Also, like, uh, another scary thought to give the people, um, you know those Order of the Sword members, like Kratos, Agnes, and Sanctus? Yeah, they scale too. Uh, well, that's also without mentioning. I I'm gonna keep going. Like again, I have a like, couple... again, like most most demons again who fight these people would scale to most of these these feats and examples oh. here. There's very few who don't. Nero already establishes in his dialogue when he goes to the Fortuna Castle after his fight with Burial that Burial's power is vastly above that of the Frost, who are considered some of Mundus's most elite demons, and. Burial confirms when he's wounded after he after his fight with Nero when he returns to the human world in mission 16 uh, before, when Dante's like sitting on his tail that 2,000 years ago he was not worthy enough to stand before Mundus as like a servant but now he would be meaning he would be like in this case he would be worthy enough to be a general and that's wounded Burial that does not have enough power at this point this is not the burial that was at full strength that fought Nero, that transferred his body from like the hu the demon world to the human world via the Hellgate. Uh, again, um, it it again like basically just everyone scales. I don't understand why he even argues Virgil doesn't scale. So that's without putting the nail in the coffin. The Dante fights. So DMC four Deadly Fortune establishes that Dante is breathing hard after the fight. And Dante says, like, you, you're the first one that's actually made me try in a really long time. And then when Nero jumps up to punch the savior, he literally says he's shook from the amount of energy that Nero provides. And he says, this kid might be stronger than me. I, I don't know how you say he's bitched here. Like, in DMC5, he has the true form of the bringer. So he should be vastly stronger than that. <laughs> he also has his own devil trigger now. Uh, yeah, so... So, I'm just going to continue on a bit forward here in the meantime to see like, if there's something worth responding to going forward. Um, since you've kind of already covered that one. Oh, hey, I didn't realize... I didn't realize that, that was by far the stupidest comment I've seen in this entire thread. Like, there's so much wrong with what was said there. Okay, I'm not an expert on DMC. I've only played 1, 2, and 3 so far. That's more than most people. Good job. Uh, but we have no statement on these dimensions work at all, even in your own post. I'm completely against the cosmology upgrade. My knowledge on the abilities and stuff isn't good enough, so I'm neutral on that. All right, fair enough, friends. Okay. The Eightfold Path seems like a very minor nitpick. Thank you. Um, 
Uh, I am on board with there being too little scans to explain the actual problems these dimensions were or not they are suitable for the tiering system. Eh, fair enough. Again, they have their standards. Uh, regarding 98 full path, being beyond the full path, the place it leads to is pretty damn similar. Not to mention the part where, to give you an idea, uh, that's what scans are referring to. The DM world doesn't exactly prove tier one. No statement proves where demons originate. The original chaos or darkness that became the world later, with demons being literal souls, that stands to reason that the demon world is the soul's origin. The statement of pinnacle combat is can't talking about. Having no tissue structures really help much for tier one, except the only reason that stuff is there is to make the DM world qualify for tier one standards. It does not say tier one necessarily. So I do not see I do not see type four mortality there. It connects to its prey. It can revive itself from the dead as long as its prey lives. This is textbook type four and eight. All right. I don't really buy the high godly stuff not backed anymore by the games. This means nothing. Almost everyone DMs usually the capability to nullify regeneration. All right. Down to yourself, carrying your generator. Your generator thing sucks your soul, so it's more so ceiling, and it doesn't actually destroy the soul. Nah, that's fair. And if it is, it would only be gameplay mechanics. Yeah. Again, we already mentioned this. Um, so he just mentions everything we just went through. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't want because like we're already been an hour and forty minutes here, so I don't want because there's two more cool. pages. Okay, so he says. Uh, the first first page page. We're not done with the first page, no. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cap you fuckers a little bit because you guys, well, I, not you specifically, Kyle. Mangler talks too much. I want to point out. I want to point out what several says here. All right, when go ahead. The, 90 stuff. the statement literally says the souls are ninth dimensional and originate from another dimension. That and we've said that like five times. 90, and the only proof we need at the very existent we get higher dimensional existence. Also, a lot of higher dimensional objects and entities are particular depicted as three-dimensional objects in fiction. That's if just fair. being visually represented as 3D was enough to debunk high-dimensional uh, existence, then needless to say, a lot of verses would be downgraded. That's the very problem when a game or one piece of the series upgrades diverse too much like Pinnacle Combat is doing. Eventually, you're bound to find contradictions. I'll stay neutral on Tier 1 90 debate for now, but I feel more posts are being needed about the hacks. Dante killed Demon on story and it never came back. While we don't have an exact time frame for his resurrection, the cool doesn't imply anything that takes too long for the point of it not being relevant. It should count. Uh, Dante kills immortals. Argos has to stay to be immortal. Um, as Sybil said, hacks and stuff is good. Uh, I also agree with this. Oh, is oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, so hacks and stuff is it's good, like, it, but should skill Dante only? He's the only... Okay, so... What wait, is... Hey, before you continue on, I'm just going to say that that's kind of an oxymoron <laughs> to say that Argos is an immortal. Well, demons are, you know, kind of immortal to begin with, but that's not the hero there. Argos is just a better immortal because he's just a better demon king. <laughs> Okay, so again, like, why do you agree that Virgil doesn't scale? In DMC5, a stronger Dante is equal or weaker than Virgil. What also, I why, why does he say no, Angela is a different source of power? You mean wait, demonic? Wait, 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 wait. So are you arguing that Demon Kings like Mundus and Argosac scale to this? So, okay, hang on. When you guys are saying that only Dante scales to this, do you mean DMC three Virgil, DMC four Nero don't scale to this? Is that what is that what's being referred to here? Does this include DMC? They, five they better hope so because they because if they agree that the Demon Kings reach the, the same and like should we scale there? Uh not to like burst these fuckers bubble, but oh, yeah. that would mean unsealed nightmare scales. So there's like the generals, and so there's like basically anyone who can get amped by the kings. Always was. <laughs> okay, so just well. I, I was just gonna say DMC two shoots that fucking DMC two and DMC two novel shoots that the fucking boy. Just for the record, the Nirvana stuff and the Eightfold Path are most likely just interpretations of those things, so they don't necessarily need to stick to what the original says because DMC is well known to take a lot of interpretations from religious myths and stuff. That is true. Uh, as for the Chen point, well, while I could see the Demon Realm Dimension point, while I merely still don't completely get it, I don't believe he's actually referring to the alternate universes by that statement since he isn't even the one to send them, nor did he mention about where Dante Burial have gone. I mean, he doesn't know where they were. Yeah, I know. I so. It's really true that he wouldn't know where they were, but it is correct that he didn't send them there, nor does he have any idea where they went after they came back because he hasn't gotten the beast steps at that point. All right, so... Okay, so we're just going to continue it forward here, just talking about whether or not the demon world's a higher dimension or not. Uh, I'm going to try and go through it forward because, again, we got two pages. Hopefully not two full more pages. Why do they keep arguing that it's canon? Uh, Why do they keep mentioning So talking about dimension? Nirvana uh, doesn't contradict anything. Okay, so I'll talk about these. These are responses, but okay. Let's see here. Uh, well, no, fuck. It's because we've already talked about all of this. 
I know. Okay, so we're going to move forward here. One of the more straightforward ways to qualify for Tier 2 and up through higher dimensions is by affecting the whole higher dimensional universes, which can be imbued the whole lower dimensional ones within themselves. For example, cosmology with the entirety of our three-dimensional universe is in fact a subset of a much greater fourth-dimensional space. Or general relationship to the same scenario to higher numbers of dimensions, i.e. cosmology with a four-dimensional space, time continuum is just an infinitesimally surface of a five-dimensional object, etc. The human world at the point of its creation was only a ray of light to the infinite darkness of the demon world. If the demon world is 9D, it disproves Tier 1. All right. Well, taking inspiration from real myth doesn't really mean we should scale to real life myth. That's fair. And Pinnacle Comics developed by Chinese devs and Buddhists is a huge myth in this country. It is normal for them to take some inspiration from the religion. Uh, well, again, DMC3 already had this, like, already as well. In DMC myth, the Realm was referred to as heaven at some point in human history according to the game backstory, but just that, nothing more. Higher or lower could just be geometrically rather than actual transcendence, unless proven That's otherwise. Cool. No. There is no geometrical nonsense. This is not supported by anything. We don't have any. This is not God of War. <laughs> this is not literally a God of War where, like, the human world and the demon world are physically located above each other. They are separated by a time space. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> the the part nine dimensional seems very vague because we don't even know the nature of these dimensions. Uh, again, like I guess if you're just more strict about it, that's fine. Also, the part no. five dimensions is also very vague, geometrically higher or actual higher plane of existence. All right. Uh, how nice! How, how nice that they need all this clarification for a statement of nine D, where if it was Bayonetta or God of War that had this. It would get accepted and moved on almost fucking instantly. No, make no mistake. If Bayonetta had a statement like this, or more accurately, no, well, actually, yes. If Bayonetta had a direct statement like this, because they did try to be Bayonetta, but didn't have a direct statement. If Bayonetta had this direct statement, this would not have gone through a full page. It would have gone, like, 50 responses tops. Okay. From the statement if alone, it had, we could... If it, was God of, if it was God of War, it would have just been accepted. It would have been, if it was God of War, it, it, it would have been, been 10. It, it would have had 10 full pages of just a gray. <laughs> no comebacks, just agree. Because no one's fucking game enough to attack all the war. From the statement alone, we can infer at these geometric dimensions, meaning that best we can get higher dimensional existence, maybe higher hacks. The transcending part is covered in the second part of the blog. Read it. Now the human world was literally in a primordial universe, a literal ray of light to the endless darkness. Later that got separated into a human world and a demon world. The human world would be the ray of light and the demon world would be everything else. If it's standards, otherwise no staff that is knowledgeable in tier 1 stuff like Ultima would have proved it. All right, uh, still require actual transcendence on some vague line like nine dimension. You know that there's something called pocket dimensions. You have to prove their pocket dimensions though. You have to prove they're also referring to it as pocket dimensions specifically. You have to provide the context for that in the scan uh, or as part of a reference. The lightning bolt was a catalyst for the separation and subsequent creation of the human world plus no world. Even in the same tradition, nothing shows that the human world is infinitely smaller than the demonic world. Uh, well, we have statements that the world being infinite, but even for the scans that the human world has multiple time spaces and multiple endless size bodies. Sorry. <laughs> hey, if you want to take that interpretation and say that both are the same size, that's fucking fine. That just upgrades the verse. I mean, it would be it would be massively lore inaccurate, but like, anyway. Uh, okay, I actually agree with this not being a game mechanic, especially with this cutscene. All right, saying even the Del Boys no match for it, said by Jester. But, There's lore and cutscene backing up that the Sith's power was an outlier. Fair enough, that's fine. But Mangla, don't you remember that you know all the countries are separated by a dimensional scar? <laughs> at this, I dare say it's about Dante's power and hacks penalty at this stage of mission twelve, with the good lore backing up the stature, so it's not unfounded to say it could neg the region Dante has while being wielded. Yeah, we also, we have the pinnacle of combat lore to back with demon materials able to kill demons, which is a direct reference to regeneration negation. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, granted, you, again, like, with the cutscene question, but again, like, you would most likely assume it's, like, lore-based. Also, when it says even the Del Boy is no match for it, that's in reference to the human version of Dante, not the demon version, so you could argue otherwise, but whatever. Um... I would like to point out, if you think, like, um... The new haywire generator is not an example of like some some hacks nonsense and there's like some resistance going on. Keep in mind, Jester literally says, in exchange for draining your soul, it will give you power. And then Dante Devil Triggers. Meaning his Devil Trigger isn't a hacks ability, it's just raw AP and just demonic energy and whatnot. So there's no soul hacks going on here. But this is this is this is a fair claim that he could have probably like it could have probably killed him, especially with like Arkham's statement. That's fine; doesn't really matter. It just like negates regen, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Nothing that nothing that he puts indicates an infinite significance or a different reality fiction. Uh, 
Yeah, sorry, I'm calling Bogus House 90 stuff. There's no evidence for any of it. Vague scaling from real life mythology and religions, etc. That are already shaking of themselves is not valid argument by any means. I love his profile picture. <laughs> I can just imagine that in his voice. Higher dimensional existence is okay, but for AP2... Okay, so I don't understand. Like, if you have higher dimensional existence, wouldn't you just get the AP if you can exist and, like, affect things from that higher dimensional existence? Well... There are versions where that would not be the case, but you would have to prove there's like an avatar or something going on. If they're just existing naturally, then fuck no. Uh, we do know they're geometrical dimensions. If the stuff that's about the world is true, that would absolutely qualify for tier one according to the standards. Man of true Virgil versus Servants could actually be fair now. Nello, yes. Other Sparta Sense and DMC5 Virgil, no. They all use the same source of power in those. They should scale. Okay, so then, okay, never mind then. So apparently, uh, at least several interpretations is the same one we had, where they're not scaling the DMC5, Dante, and Virgil. I think we should keep the scaling stuff for last. How is it controversial to say that DMC5, Virgil should scale to DMC5, Dante, who's stronger than the Dante and Pinnacle of Combat? How is that controversial? <laughs> Do these guys, like... I don't even know anymore. I don't even know how anymore. The it's just like, the anime should make it abundantly clear that there are stronger versions of Dante because he literally gets a blood boost. Something returns mm -hmm. to a higher realm doesn't mean it's automatically higher dimensional existence and still nothing regard to the nature of those dimensions. Again, so I, so this is just this is just higher standards, that's fine. I'm not, I don't really think that's a problem. If the higher realm is stated to be an area that the fundamental ninth dimensional form comes from it absolutely is a higher dimensional existence get the fuck out of here uh do you want the devs to put a full detailed essay on what those dimensions are uh okay so several must be new to dmc here because that is exactly what everyone fucking asks for every time we bring up a statement Several, if you watch this i am sorry they are so like stupid um uh, but like yeah they they actually genuinely do want to be dragged Kicking and screaming. Wait, wait, wait. Why, okay, is, why is this even a fucking question? In okay, so, <laughs> okay, so, so like the, just to bring this up, like a couple of years ago, they literally argued that Kamiya's tweet wasn't a confirmation because of because the it because when it said universe, <laughs> they tried to argue in every way, shape, and form. Oh no, he doesn't mean that he created make, the universe. Make no fucking mistake here. Se several must have not been paying attention these past couple of years since he is the thread starter. Dude, whenever DMC gets any information, you gotta drag everyone kicking and screaming to that point. And it's the mm -hmm. only verse that has this problem. I and guarantee what, you when Ninja Gaiden it gets it? its tier 2, it's gonna be fucking easier than this shit. Dude, what's great about it every single time is that the same people, they use the same arguments. They shift the goalposts, they show up with no evidence to back up their claims, and we bring dozens of scans for ours. It's like, I have so much of my burden of proof. Your counter-argument is, I don't agree with it because... When we, when we get tier 2 dead or alive I hope that gets accepted just as easy as Bayonetta does <laughs> hey, what? No, when me and and Excalibur are done we're gonna be getting that 2B two, that two fucking Darksiders okay so that's how things work to qualify but how much versus do you think that have all, that already have tier 1 rejected due to vague information about dimensions I'm not saying disagree about it I'm not talking about tier 1 here but higher dimensional existence is very different from tier 1 about tier 1 my blog clearly explains okay so I guess they do separate higher dimensional existence from tier 1 it's kind of weird but whatever well, yeah, similar stuff and a lot of characters similar. Qualified. Would you provide sufficient for low 1C via the DM world holding our world? The 9 dimensional stuff without further context isn't really good for 1C. It might just be unknown. So it looks like they might get low 1C. Higher dimensional existence is related to how dimensions are portrayed, but I guess I got confused. All right. All right. Um, two things. This is a brand new account, by the way. Uh, two things. Only a small light is said to be in infinite darkness is separate and create the human world. Would easily. This can be poetic language about the creation of the human world. That. I haven't heard the poetry artist. In DMC, it's everything but a straightforward sentence. It is literally everything but a straightforward first all, sentence. First of all, if you read the Divinity Statue translation, you should not be making this argument. Bro! The scan that was provided was the official no, English version. Which no, is no, blatant. no, Mangler. Maybe, maybe no, Mangler. It, it's... Dude, the, the original English translation could say Dante's toilet is stuck and they would still argue it's not valid. Uh, Allegri about the creation of the human world. That's, okay, so to be fair, we also have a visual, a visual cue that that light is smaller than the darkness, so we do have that as well. 
No, Angelo, yes. The other Sparta decides well, to de No, they all have the same source of power. They should scale. The same source. DMC5, Virgil, literally has another source, that being the Clyphoth fruit. The Clyphoth fruit oh, just... It's made of human blood! It's made of human blood, which is stated to be the source of demonic power. What? No, no, Mangler. No, no. Apparently that's wrong. <laughs> hey, 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 look, look, look. If you want to tell me it gives you divine power, that's fine, but that would be divine demonic power. So, so Again, so DMC5 Virgil literally is their source. Okay, the Clapham fruit is Nero's debatable. Virgil's unsure about what form of power Nero had. That is not what that quote meant! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> so he pushes them both aside, and he says Nero, and he's like, what form of power is this? Do not troll! I guess Nero doesn't have demonic power, guys. I guess he has some completely random... Well, to be fair, well, he might have a new form of power, to be fair, but that's more issues. a completely issues. different energy system. He's um, He is literally asserting that Nero has so much strength he's never seen before. Uh, so Nero has... So Dante and Virgil are Super Saiyans, and Nero has just hit Super Saiyan God, apparently. I would like to point out that Dante has made Dante and Virgil have both made contact with the Sparta Sword, which is stated to have divine power. They have fought demons that have self-actualized magic exclusively as their form of power. They both know about alchemy, and they both use the concept of their demonic power and their humanity as energy sources. What fucking form of energy <laughs> could he well. possibly be referring to? Also, just to add on to Mangler's thing, they've both fought a being that calls himself the Light Beast, and it has holy power. <laughs> okay, so I, I just want to clarify here. When when Virgil's most likely saying what form of power is this, he's most likely just confused that Nero can DT at all. Look, Lightning, I appreciate your arguments for the immeasurable speed, Dante. Great idea, but this was bad. This was a very bad... Okay, so also, when you say another source of power, does that mean anything that's not naturally a demonic, like... So does that mean, like, any sort of, like, any sort of substance that's not directly from a natural demon's ability? Is that just considered another source of power? Hey, hey remember, they, they consider everything to be hacks. Yeah, you, my apologies. Uh, another source of hacks? <laughs> okay, so let me continue here. That's you know, how... Consider, the, consider. The, the 9D Alan Lull. <laughs> That's how it is. We don't just go around and look at cosmology because they mention a number of, along with dimension or some vague word to take inspirations from real life mythology. All right, that's fair. Oh, fuck off, you don't. <laughs> you, you literally, no, 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 fuck that. You literally <laughs> have a cosmology blog that is the explanation for why God of War's verse exists the way that it does as a direct representation of the, the, the original Greek and Norse pantheon. Get the fuck out of here. Get okay. the fuck out of here. That literally upgraded God of War to Tier 2. Even in your blog, you use a lot of words like probably this, possibly that. I mean, as your blog is full of assumptions of personal interpretation, we don't upgrade verses because a group of people interpret the cosmology the way they view. You need solid evidence to convince us. Okay, this last part right here is completely yeah, full, full of shit. Where the fuck's that? <laughs> okay, okay, look, look, look. I'm just saying that this last line right here is very debatable depending on what the verse is. That's all I'm going to say. Now they're talking about Saint Seiya, but I don't really care. This man, I... <laughs> okay, so apparently they're literally arguing that you can get low 1C based off just the standard demon world stuff. I also disagree with this based on some of the reasons above. Using real world theology and vague explanations about dimensions to put the verse this high is pretty bullshit, especially when the actual verse lacks any on screen feats that would be considered above universal. Okay. But whose alt is that? Because that's very recent. Okay, yeah, that's a very recent account. Uh, again, unfortunately, AP is a thing. That's, not, that's a really stupid point. And also, on screen feats. Uh, granted, we don't have direct scenes of an entire universe being merged together, and we don't see the entire universe doing it at once, but we, we have enough on-screen visuals to support that with statements, so that's kind of a little suspicious. I also agree with the reasons above. Uh, one thing DMT doesn't lack is feats. DMT is already above universally even with the, uh, the CRT. The LP have accepted changes to scale of Demon World, Dimensional cons consistently award fuse, sustained and destroyable by higher tiers to God. The series will have 10 plus low 1C feats. Uh, said stuff just depends on the one structure. Also, it's another story post, guys. Okay. Uh, so this is just Devil responding, but again, I don't want to like, I don't want to bog this down anymore than it already has. I think we've already either responded to a lot of these things coming up, or that like it's not really that essential. Um, okay, they're still talking about the human world, holding the demon world, whatever. Okay, if it's a fraction, it's nice enough for low one C. If it's low two C structure, yes, although it doesn't want to do much, we need to prove the demon world would be higher D for it to work. Bad comparison with instant death contains infinite universes. 
that are small comparison to the higher order universe and the only thing that's based in there was infinite darkness and a small light of the human world again this is a brand new account by the way so these are you would think that accounts wouldn't have access to threads until they've already been around for a decent amount of time unless these are just genuinely like been around for a while in the blog, there seems to be no direct evidence that higher dimensions are infinitely superior to lower ones, and there's no mention of reality such fiction system. For now, I disagree with the 1C upgrade. Okay. This will be your burden of proof to fully disprove higher dimensional existence. The soul is called basic line dimensional. That's as plain as high dimensional as you can get. It's actually you guys got burden of proof to prove those nature of those dimensions, not throw out some nine dimension and be done with it. And I'm not even questioning the credibility and quality of those translations on Chinese language. Uh, yeah. No, no, you don't. You don't get to argue that. You don't get to argue that at all. When you literally argue that your unofficial translations for the Japanese language take priority over Capcom's officially English translated stuff. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> and um, say saying the burden of proof is on you to provide the nature of the dimensions. Simple. A fundamental ninth dimensional form. Fundamental. Yeah. It's again the same line we use to basically stump Neo. It's 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 like literally just a blatant statement, a fundamental, basic, ninth-dimensional form. Even you if you don't want to argue it's higher lie. dimensional, that would only be in reference to DMC since the soul's kind of basic in DMC. You have to just lie. I'm sorry, but you have to lie well, to I ignore mean, this. It's not. I need the evidence. You just have to be dishonest. Let's stop. Like beating around the bush here, you're just flying. Okay, so I'm gonna continue before Mango just continues turning people apart. Um, hey, can, can, can you get copyrighted if I just take lyrics from songs but not the whole, but I don't sing the entire thing? Well, apparently covers aren't covered by copyright, apparently. But don't, that's not, that's not, that's not. And yet we can't post. No, our, no, our, no our, yeah, our, I, I, I will post it with just a singular picture if you want, or I'll try and figure something out. Considering the magnitude and the controversy of CRT, I think it's best to wait for other people to respond. Before drawing any concrete conclusions, both sides make understandable points, but the CRT really needs more mod input. Personally, I'm indifferent how DMC is rated. Uh, however, it is pretty shaky at best for any verse to get massive upgrades via an obscure mobile game that hasn't been fully translated. Uh, again, actually completely fair claim. It may or may not be truly canon, even though it, even though it revised to be canon a while back. Uh, it doesn't seem like revising a verse to be more accurate at it, at more opinion of you. Count me as neutral time being. You already agreed. Ultima agrees with it, fam. Check the early replies. The caveat being the panel of combat is canon, which is still being debated. I should have made that clearer in my post. Again, you gotta make a separate post for this. Scroll down. It, it, it go, this, they just confirm for a while that they're talking about it. Until you reach Mr. Ballins. He basically starts a new a new shitstorm. Alright. Um, one thing DMC doesn't like is feats. What? DMC literally has literally no actual universe feats outside of Moondis and the fruit stuff from DMC5 for the, that to be a feat requires us to accept several statements. Well, so first off, I understand that in DMC, everything is not as it seems, because apparently, according to you guys, every sentence in DMC is either an idiom, hyperbole, or anything else, really, a metaphor. And, like, everything that is above universe that Moonus creates relies heavily on statements as opposed <clears throat> to actual... Well, okay. Don't you understand that Eurism was going to shake the foundations of the world and bring a new world order? Eurism was about to bring back the Wild West. Eurism was actually just a code name for Liquid Ocelot. <laughs> You're like, we're gonna bring back Ranch and y'all. You know what? I, I, I remember when Eurism ditched the army and he fought Dante, and before they finished, he whispered in his ear, You're pretty good. <laughs> Everything so, that is above the universe the moon's created like, hang on, let me uh, repose statements of the Kakushu feats. There is also the fact that it is pretty clearly against author intent going by how Dante portrayed in all the games, but this forum does not care about much about this, so that does not matter. You know, Mr. Bollins, can I, I see, can, hang on, can I see if you posted on Bayonetta's thread recently? <laughs> well, okay, so, well, no? Well, he's, well, he's doing that. I just want to say um, actual concrete feats. So what is actual concrete feats if accepting several statements isn't concrete feats? How do you determine that a feat is concrete without a statement to actually prove it? Okay, so hang on. Uh, KL here responds, Are you seriously just going to ignore Argus X, Pluto, and Sparta? Argus X can literally fuse the two universes just by existing, which is purely confirmed by Teams 2 and its guidebook. And three and four two graphic will be genuinely happening as the merger causing time paradox that happened left and right was warping the human world itself and then the remarkable mess. Moon is fused to universes at the racking Pluto. The Clifford tree can do the exact same thing. 
Both Pluto and Sparta have splitting feats. Uh, after defeating Moon and Sparta, then split the Human World and Demon World. Again, this is just a statement. It's literally what kickstarts the whole World DMC. I suggest you check this thread as you bring up uh, uh, before you bring up such asinine claims. All your claims regarding ignoring author intent and their only statements have been debunked already. I also suggest you check the damn blogs regarding tier two DMC here, which all went through several CRTs over the last few years to be accepted. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, no. <laughs> Playing the games to catch at first glance, Dante struggles with the most simplistic things. He gained injured about absolutely everything would raise eyebrows for sure. This is this is much about a verse beyond a single entry though, or ignoring the fact things that Dante gained injured at all times to showcase his region. Right. Hang on, going down the lightning. Why the fuck are people waiting for Tony and Glasses posts? Tony because and they, Glasses they, posts. They are, are uh, because they are they are they are the uh, opposed. Oh, okay. So you you can't just close a thread without the opposing force either giving up or a moderator stepping in and closing it without anyone stopping them. Is that how they? Well, I mean, if that's true, they're gonna get. Literally, there are fourteen to fifteen people in support of this thread. The, the, literally, the no. People... So what I've always what I've noticed on BSB over the years, it doesn't matter how many people support it until you get a mod willing to close the thread, they can keep talking. Okay, so let's see. Again, so DMC, they're talking about the cosmology. Don't really care about this one. Um, he's breaking down how many things there are in the cosmology. More since DMC's reverse reference with business suit moon disc, but how much exactly is vague? It's my opinion. While I myself made a CRT for 10D, I'm not quite on the one C or even low one C train just yet. I agree with the reach. This guy, this guy goes for 10D DMC. That's amazing. I agree with the region since region DMC is limited busted. God. Damn, I also agree with where the fit those nuts. <laughs> I also agree with nine ten D souls. It's a very clear cut statement, even if you ignore the eightfold path. Said souls are consistent with the forty plus layers of hacks that DMC crew abuse, so really it's just quantifying feats relevant to this. We just put above way higher to baseline four D since we didn't actually have an actual number to play or what to point it. The hacks I can understand, but I'm neutral on. I agree with two C mirror human world and again against one C until more proof is placed on us. So I, I guess because he got shut down so hard. Okay, so we're done. Okay. I was waiting for a new DMC anime to nerf Pinnacle of Combat. Uh, I don't think it will be canon based on what I've heard so far. It seems like it will be a loose adaptation of the game's events. Anyone that solves a problem with Universal DMC just has a hate boner for the verse. Tier 1 though, if DMC becomes Tier 1, this will be Tony's greatest defeat. It will make Shinza gain cuck look like a joke. Tony better not fail. Uh, so I guess, uh, I guess Tony here has some uh, work cut out for him. Man, must must be yeah. You know, you, you really you really have uh, the opportunity to prove us all wrong because you know you totally provided valid claims such as the um, the primordial chaos and the demon world darkness being completely separate entities and addressing the fundamental ninth dimensional form. Or all demons' powers just being hacks. Great arguments. Ten out of ten. So hang on. Uh, I was gonna say which one was Tony again, just to make sure um, I remember. Was the, with the um. Right, Tony here. Okay. Yeah. Um. I was surprised they're not bringing up the glass man for this one, since he also kind of disagreed um, too. But I guess Tony is the one who's like fighting super hard for this. So, uh, I was just gonna say, like, one thing I would like to say to settle the person who created this thread. Um, generally speaking, if you... I would say that not a bad blog, but I think a better argument for explaining the, the 9D-ness of the demon world is to focus on the names and the fact that all demons get a power from demonic energy, and this demonic energy underpins the entirety of the demon world. So if you're trying to prove that the demon world is 9D, just literally argue that the energy that affects souls and names exists everywhere in the demon world and supplies all of their energy and their attacks. So anyone tries to argue that it doesn't affect AP, it's like, what, do you think their punches are hacks? <laughs> like, how stupid do you have to be? Like, it's, it's much, much more difficult to refute. All you would need to support this is statements from Chen in his conversations uh, with Dante when he traps him with the gel uh, after he arrives from the alternate timeline continuity, and then his conversation with Wait, Dante. Wait, Forza 5 came out? Oh, yeah! Okay. 
And then Dante's <laughs> conversation with Agnes in Deadly Fortune, when Agnes explains his ability to absorb demons, because he demonstrates when he absorbs their magic energy, they literally like evaporate. Meaning, like, after they lose it, they die. So it sustains their life as a whole. Are you not excited for Physical bodies. <laughs> and their souls. <laughs> Alright. I'm saying there, uh, I, I approve of several of the, the other abilities to regen the soul. It's just, I think there are, um, the ones he use in the world works. It's just, there's a slightly better, like, uh, there's better elaboration to be made on it. Aside from the 90s, thing, like yeah, so definitely, I just find it funny that okay, so again, I, I, unlike Mangler, I can kind of I can respect the people who want more information. Again, we know about it, we talk about it, but I really don't want to use it until we get more information. Let's, let's be clear, I don't have a problem with you stating that if you're not knowledgeable on DMC at all, if you are. And you're just kind of hesitant about using it because you're just like, you just want to you want to see what it has all has to offer in like the current version. I guess that's fine, but like you kind of probably shouldn't be jumping the gun then. All right, so that's so far. Uh, again, they made up to page three, so we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Um, I suspect this thread will be done probably by the end of the week. We'll see what happens. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for your time as always. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys on the next streamer video. And most likely they'll be there because they always show up. So take care, everybody. And let's go and stop this.